Well, hello, everyone. The door. The door. <laughs> and I'm Sid- right. The door. <laughs> <laughs> what about going to the door right now? <laughs> and these are my friends. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> <Right. laughs> Together we make role playing games. Oh, uh, I was hoping for Captain Planet. Oh. <laughs> um, that would have been Megazord. Yeah. Let's get the door down there. Um, uh, yeah, we're doing things. Uh, we were playing a Pathfinder 2nd Edition homebrew campaign. And uh, we are in the middle of a murder mystery. Bum, bum, bum. My fun fact is that Brock Hatton's family were famous smiths in Morden Thordor, the dwarf capital. <laughs> Thank you for that. The self heating ham- anvil has been in their family for years and was forged from molten iron and lava from the mountain's core. Cool. You said cool. self heating ham, and then my brain went self heating ham sandwich. And I was like, that would be a great invention. <laughs> Self-heating it's like a hot pocket that does everything itself. <laughs> That's it's like, right. It's like a glow stick. You like snap it. And you <laughs> yeah. up. So and once again, I'm Bryce. I'm your dungeon master, and uh, I play everyone they don't. So. <laughs> Pretty much. My name's Josh. I play Cipher Underfoot, um, a halfly rogue. I was about to just roll into his super cool stuff, but his super cool stuff isn't that cool. I don't know if I've mentioned it before, and if I have, this is entirely retconned. Cypher's favorite food is potato and leek soup, because it reminds him of when he was a kid and home. I am uh, Caleb. I play the uh, Ko Dashik, who's a Luke Folk champion. Uh, fun fact about Ko is is going to be another one of the games that they he grew up playing. So <laughs> similar to Slodge Ball, right? this one's not as robust, but this game is called Gasp. Um, Growing up in the marshes, there's, yes, there you go. There's obviously lots of access to water, and they grow up around water. So one of the games they would play is basically who can hold their breath the longest, and the goal is for Not each bad. person to black out, actually. Oh. And they have, like, Don't refs. Kids. Yeah. <laughs> they have refs watching, so if, when you do black out, you, they, you'll they bring you out and, and make sure you're okay. Um, and it's whoever blacks out last, basically. And it's called, again, Gasp. Thank God they're refs. Yep. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> oh my goodness. Let's not and there's play tr- that There's game. tournaments and everything, and as you can imagine, they... Torments or tournaments? <laughs> Both. Both. <laughs> <laughs> Let's do sludge ball. That's right. Oh Being God. lizard folk is rough. Yeah. <laughs> it's great. I'm Something. Rachel. Uh, I play Anasha, Evan Vale. She's a half-elven monk, hoping to remain unaware of her friend's actions and uh, pursue this murder mystery with no distractions. And um, her fun fact <laughs> is uh, that she and her brother Tareem have a secret bird call that they made up as kids. You go like this. It's close. <laughs> if that wasn't it, it is yeah. now. <laughs> <laughs> so if you randomly hear that, I'll okay, just really, go back. I was really hoping for like the chicken, like the chicken call from Arrested Development. <laughs> oh yes. <laughs> Great show. <laughs> I really thought you gave up on the rhyming there when you were st- just kept going. It was, was like, silent for that at the end because you yeah, stopped. I, I thought that was the end. I was I like, where's we the done? rhyme? Yeah. I was like, <laughs> oh. Yeah, that's what I was like. Yes. So. <laughs> Fair enough. All right, my name is Tim. Hi. I play Gazmac, Trusty Gob, a monkey goblin sorcerer and entrepreneur. Fa- favorite animal for Gazmac is the majestic warthog. Yes, they are. They're, they're proud. They've got big tusks. They've got like nice little. He, they got nice tuft of hair. He likes that. He can relate because they've got like they've got like long hair and stuff. And they're smelly. He likes that. So there you go. And uh, so yeah, favorite animal is the warthog. Has he ever ridden a warthog? No, That's no, he cool. hasn't. But you know, oh, he's on the lookout. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Are they in Estonia or just turned? Uh, I don't know. Are they warthogs? Yeah, the majestic yeah, warthog. Okay. Oh, okay. Also, also known as Dire Board. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure you'll fight one eventually. <laughs> so, uh, we left off a couple of different places. Uh, murder mystery happened, or at least the beginning of it. Uh, 
you attempted to get into a noble party, and uh, one of you succeeded and got a little too involved than you had liked. Uh, Miss Anasha got to dance with Creeper McCreepster. That's his actual name. name. <laughs> I'm writing that down <laughs> in the uh, names. It is uh, actual name. Creeper. It's a weird name. It is Al O'Brien Gildrick. Al O'Brien Gildrick. Or Gilric. He is my an, bad. Oh, I simply just Creeper. put Gilric, but that's his last name. Gilric yeah. is his last name. So his first name is what? Al O'Brien. Al Al O'Brien. Al O'Brien. <laughs> Al O'Brien. No, it's A. Not just one of the Bryans. Brian. Al O'Brien. Then we had a heist. As uh, Gazmac and Did Cypher. we though? <laughs> Did we though? I mean, things were taken. Yeah. And well, you didn't die. That's fair. So, uh, they did fight a uh, doll that is the manifestation of the witch's will. So, she was kept a doll to guard the first floor. They attempted to break in to get an item for Baz Trusty Gob. And somehow, they were able to weasel their way around, even while telling the truth, <laughs> and not get fully revealed <laughs> as an imposter of sorts. So, uh, we were starting out. The Gazmac and Cypher will be finishing up what they were doing uh, and going back to sleep, basically. And Anasha and uh, Co, you will have an opportunity to go and talk with Anna uh, before also calling it an evening. Correct. So, Sweet. you head towards uh, the Castle District. And heading towards the uh, where the job board and everything is, you'll be passing that to get to the medic area for uh, the garrison. Anything new on the job board? Not yet. Right. So everything appears to be the same. Mm-hmm. Are the guards there? Yeah, they're guards all, right. all about. Um, excuse me, guards. Um, do you happen to know yes, if? Yes. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> if, if, if Anna is in the uh, the young lady that we brought by, who was under the influence, let's say. Uh, yes, I believe that she is being held over at the uh, healer station. All right. That way. All right. Thank you. We will head that way. All right. <laughs> As we go, I'm gonna say, Co. Next time we're out really late, like past midnight, just remind me not to do anything stupid. I'll just leave it at that, okay? You can just say... Uh, just... I'll, I'll do my best. Okay. Uh, no promises, so... <laughs> she just keeps walking. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so <laughs> Miss Anna does have uh, some uh, bandages around her wounds, and uh, she is eating dinner. Mm-hmm. Question for you. Did we stay up with her to wait and see when it were off or were we leaving that to like butters or somebody uh you, you just left it to the medics to okay yeah to let us oh, okay. know so when we it actually got off. our because regular you night's sleep you went you That's went true. to sleep probably three or four in the morning okay you would have slept until eight nine maybe even ten depending on how exhausted you were cool and now you've spent the afternoons uh doing something i don't care what Exploring the city. Congratulations. <laughs> uh, but now you're uh, there in the evening to speak with her. Okay, cool. How are you feeling? Better, I believe. Do you uh, do you remember anything that happened last night? Or this? It was last night, right? Am I yes. trying to? Yeah. Okay. Yep. Um, I forget what all I told you before because we covered that at the very end of the episode. <laughs> You said you had, it had been a girls' night, I think, and oh yes, there was, yeah, uh, we they were went night. from experience. Yep. They took the the cart over to the place. We saw her at the in the alleyway. She so she remembers forward. getting in the cart, uh, but she does not remember who gave her a drink. Mm-hmm. Every time she tries to focus on that, it's just blank, right? It's just oh, blank. that's right, yeah. Uh, so she remembers getting in a cart, and she can't remember who she was in the cart with. She remembers getting injured. And being told to go to the alley next to Two Keg Brewery, I believe it is. Mm-hmm. If she remembers getting injured, does she remember how? Uh, it was a knife. A knife. Okay. She can't describe that to us, can she? 
She doesn't have any magical right. senses. Do we do we remember? Uh, I can't remember if we wrote this down. The uh, the names of the victims. No. Okay. So I'm wondering. And in fact, you don't have names. For I was say we don't have names. Yeah. Yeah. No. <clears throat> we have descriptions, but not yeah. Names. Yeah. Anna, you don't know of anybody who would, I suppose, have a problem with you or your family or any reason this could have been targeted at you, do you? As far as I'm aware, there, there was nothing that I've ever done to anyone. I mean, I'm generally just out for a good time. Yeah, understandable. Do you hear anything when you're in the, with the group you are in regarding, you know, anything that, that made you suspicious or was it all just a normal night? Have you guys done this before? I mean, it's a normal girls' night. Yeah, we've gone dancing before. Um, but no, the, I, I can't remember anything weird. Like I said, someone gave me a drink. I don't remember who that was or can't remember. Do you think if you were to see this person, it would you might be able to recognize them? I can't yeah. describe them at all, so maybe. I don't know. Hmm. I mean, thank you so much for actually saving me. I, I was told that you found me in the alley. I mean, of course. Those... Yeah, you were. You had a huge cut on your arm or your leg, and yeah. There's more to thank than just us. If you ever see Reginald, I believe he's some of the watch, but he had a big hand in that, so you can thank him. Uh, he, he actually did stop by earlier, and he said that you would probably be stopping by. Mm -hmm. uh, he wanted to let you know that you likely won't be seeing him on the case anymore. Where's he going to? Uh, reassigned. I'm, I'm, I wasn't told why. Hmm. That's awful. So. Mm hmm. Hmm. Well, I guess uh, I guess the well, we're going to be taking. I don't know if you'd be willing to share any of the names of the girls that you were at the girls' night out with. If that, if you don't feel comfortable, we're not going to. I mean, pa Patricia was there. Um, Roxy. <laughs> Just imagining <laughs> a half orc named Roxy. Is she great? is a half orc. How oh did you know? God. <laughs> Just a wild guess. <laughs> All right, that's and uh, Sammy was there. Sammy, and uh, how do you know all of these friends? Just met them in the city, grew up with them, or we're all part of just uh, I, mean, I guess we've met in school and such, but. Uh, we just kind of continued hanging out together afterwards. Oh. Anything on the last task? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm pretty out of questions. Yeah. I can't think of anything. I mean, her memory's pretty much wiped from anything useful. Pertaining. Anything pertaining to the attack. <laughs> <laughs> Your mind is blank. Blank. <laughs> Why was that? I'll remember this, you <laughs> jerks. <sighs> well, Anna, anything we can do for you uh, to make you feel safe or comfortable, escort to your home, anything like that? I mean, you're, you're welcome to hang out with me if you want. Are you planning on staying here and, and staying with the... I'll, I'll be returning home tomorrow. I think I'm still under observation. Okay. It's good to know. So, so are you staying? Um, probably not. <laughs> <laughs> as long as you feel safe. Uh, oh. Well, I mean, you, you saved me, so I, I figured you'd, you'd be able to take care of me better than the guards. They're Finish not the job! Oh, no, goodness! No, they haven't hurt me oh, or anything, okay. but you, you guys are my saviors. Saviors is kind of a big term for us. It's more like this, but... I would have been dead without you. Well, glad you're yeah, here. Right place, right time. <laughs> Got anything else you have to ask? You have such weird uh, women. Do <laughs> <laughs> so anything else to say? Leave no. before you stab her. I mean, <laughs> Ko is not personable, as we know. And it's not. <laughs> uh, yeah, wait, what's your charisma score? Oh, we're both zero? Look at us. Yeah. Oh, yeah, no, I, am, I don't talk to people. <laughs> and I try, usually. but I fail just as well, so. <laughs> Oh, well, okay. Thank you, Anna. 
<laughs> Bye. Uh, <laughs> do, you, do you think the property value is going to go down there? Where? The, the, the brewery. I don't know. I mean, it can't be good for business having three bodies and a, almost a floor. That was true. You don't happen to know anything else about the brewery, do you? Was it owned by... I, I heard history? they were getting ready to sell it. Oh. But, I mean, if, if it is going to knock down the value, I might even try to talk to some of my friends about pitching in for it. That would be quite a cool business adventure, mm. wouldn't it? But, uh, might want to clear the air around why people are being dumped there, huh? Well, um, if you get it for cheap, you might be able to turn the business around. That's true. Do you know why they're selling it? What Under what circumstances? I'm not sure. Just that they went out of business. Hmm. Who owned it before? Do you know? <laughs> I was in the middle of writing down their names, but I hadn't come up with them. <laughs> uh, they're dwarf brothers. Yes. <laughs> it wouldn't happen to be barley and wheat chief brothers, would it? <laughs> no, no. It's Wharton Hops. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> That's Deep the name cut. of the place, Wharton nice. Hops. <laughs> Cork and Hops. <laughs> Cork. And that's what it's going to be. He's the fruity one. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. Wait, so Wait those are their names? That's the name Cork of the and Hops. Rings. Those are their names? Yep. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> What's the last name? Come on. Is it McCasker? <laughs> <laughs> Bubble Barrel. <laughs> <laughs> Bubble Barrel. Bubble <laughs> Barrel. <laughs> Cork and hops bubble, bubble barrel. barrel. Anything would be like Very strong true. cask. <laughs> there you go. That sounds dwarven. <sighs> like, hmm. Maybe like deep mead. <laughs> mead? I don't know. Brew more. <laughs> that's amazing. <laughs> and that shall be their name. Oh my goodness. Oh, brew yes. <laughs> <laughs> so it's either brew more. Mm -hmm. Or they were just guys who swept up around the mine. Broom or. <laughs> oh, no. I started to name these guys like the goblins. <laughs> right? Yes. <laughs> and that fact um, might be good to see if we can reach out to them if they're still in the area. Yeah. Question them about their ties, connections, beefs, whatnot. Most oh, certainly. Well, Anna, if you. Uh, remember anything from that last night and you can get any pertinent information, um, we'll be in touch. I mean, if you're, you're staying, I, I won't have to go far. It's most, that's correct. <laughs> Bye now. <laughs> <laughs> Walks away. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I better go. Oh, we'll be back. <laughs> you, you might not even notice that it was awkward. Just, it's true. With mine, like, what a great interaction. <laughs> <laughs> what a great interaction. I like that Co. He's a real people person. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my goodness. All right, would you guys like to head up to Duke Keg Brewery today? Uh, it will likely evening. be getting closer to closing time, so. So oh, it's actually were, open. I thought they were already closed. Yeah, I thought it, I thought it was, yeah. They were closed whenever you guys were investigating the night before, at midnight. They're not out of business. They're oh, just well, I thought it was like a... No, yeah, they're just selling the business, yeah. Gotcha. Oh. I, was, I was under the impression that it was like a uh, rundown. No, like, okay. no, no. Yeah, I mean, if we can make it in time... Yeah, let's go. Goes, and then share whatever we find with our friends back yeah. at Coffee Place. Cork and hops, brew more. <laughs> oh, it's brew more. Oh, I just spelled it like that more. to give them slightly more dignity. I I, did, I wrote brew more. <laughs> oh, you did. You actually you wrote brew more. Brew more. Brew more. <laughs> no, brew p r e w. What's your intelligence? More. Okay. M o r e. <laughs> there's a legendary. We're pretty much the same. There's a legendary <laughs> fight amongst the dwarves between <laughs> brooms. <laughs> You oh, stole my broom. It's no, I broom, didn't. Broom, broom more. Yeah, because like a brewery. A broom has been my in my brain. family for a thousand generations. My, bro my brain was going, broom war. 
turns out it's made of stone. <laughs> it's, the, it's the least effective broom of all time. <laughs> broom. Oh, I like that. Broom. Oh. Broom. I'm kidding. We're, it's so close. We're definitely there together. All right. So you walk in and a halfling greets you. Welcome to Two Keg Brewery. Brew so good, you'll walk away with two. Well, that works out great. There's two of us. Can we buy kegs <laughs> today, then? No, oh, not kegs. <laughs> that's what you, that's what we sell here. Oh, it's just in, it's just bulk. I mean, that's usually what people want when they come here. I see. Otherwise, you could just get it at any of the inns around town. Good point. Good Do you know point. is uh is Cork and Hops Brewmore here? I'm Hops. Oh, hey, great to meet you, Hops. I know, right? <laughs> I Strange. never said they were twins. Yeah. <laughs> Just that they were brothers. But you, you said they were, say they were dwarves. That's what everyone believes. <laughs> it's fantastic. <laughs> yeah. Hops is a halfling. He runs the business side of things. Strange. You you don't look like a dwarf. Um I was raised by dwarves. Oh that's that's pretty cool. Absolutely. Oh. So do they think you're a dwarf, everybody here? Most people do, because we say we're twins. <laughs> we're not actually twins. Well, that's fine. <clears throat> well, we're Is actually... he a really burly hobbit? No. Oh. No. No. Wow. He's very clean-shaven. Yeah, people here not see him. <laughs> Appling, just, yeah. The other brother's a dragon thorn. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody says anything. He's adopted. <laughs> <laughs> they're, too, they're too scared. Oh, my God. Quirk's in the back, working hard. Well, we'll let him work hard. We won't interrupt that. Um, we, Fair enough, you're here to buy. <laughs> we actually had to ask a couple questions. About? Well, you've had a couple murders happen around here. Not here, not not here, not, not here. Oh uh, yeah, bad PR, huh? Um, no, this place isn't haunted. We've had no problems with our alcohol or any of our distilleries. Well, you'll be happy to hear that we're here to help, actually, to find the one who's doing this. Fantastic. So, we were just wondering if you had any information as far as why they would want to choose your place to dump these. Well, we have decided to sell here because we're going to move to another location. Where is that? We're heading up to Goblin City. Oh, Goblin oh. City. Absolutely. That's, we've made it here very well. Uh, mm -hmm. We have a steady supply chain coming through. And we figure Goblin City will be able to sell a lot more and export stuff even more efficiently. Okay. That's... So, it's more of a business decision than anything Absolutely. else. Right. Yeah. Oh, great. So then it's pretty convenient then that you guys are moving anyway already, right? Well, yeah, that's why we're selling the business. Yeah. Do you have anyone now? Warehouse. Have you had any offers? Uh, we've had a few, but they also want our recipes, and we're not selling those. Right. That would definitely put the business in the jeopardy there, wouldn't it? It absolutely could. Hmm. What is the time frame on when you plan on uh, heading up to Goblin City? Uh, we've, asked, or we've acquired a warehouse, uh, but we have not been able to move any of our distillery equipment up there. We fear that in the move, uh, with being having some downtime, we might not be able to pay our employees what is necessary to continue operations without actually selling this. So until we actually sell this, we don't intend to move the distillery somewhere. Okay. That makes sense. How many employees do you guys have? Uh, we have four or five now. Uh, we will have more under our employee whenever we get up to oh, Bowser very, City. Very cool. Also, could I see some sort of credentials? <laughs> we have... I just realized that I've given you a whole bunch of information. Yeah, we have, we have the job the board. I well, mean, you're welcome to... Uh... Right? We have that, but we also have the writ by um, Odella. Oh, yeah. We'll show them it's, that. We're looking out for the best interest of the city. Oh, fantastic. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we heard about... <laughs> A whole bunch of stuff. Luckily, it's kind of my sales pitch for selling the place anyway. So, and well, no worries there. I mean, we spoke to a couple of people who were already saying it looked favorable to buy, so hopefully we'll have some good offers here. We've but had some offers, but not what we're looking for. But yeah. Hopefully offers that don't try to take your <laughs> recipes as well. Absolutely. There's a, there's no one that you know of or connected with that, that has any ill will towards you guys or your employees or the business? Uh, no, not that I'm aware of. Um, I know that we've received a few offers from some of the noble families in town, uh, but no one has been high enough for us to actually sell. I have a feeling that these bodies are meant to drive down the price, and we will not stand for that. I mean, that makes sense. They would, we have a good commodity here. Yeah. So would you suspect any of the nobles um, to do something like this to get the price down? 
I mean, nobles tend to work with cat's paws and other things to not do the dirty work themselves, so to say. But right, so like murder for hire sort of thing. Possibly. I, I, I don't know. I mean, is yeah. that what you, is, you think it's murder for hire? Could be. I'm just saying, yeah. If, if, if you're saying the nobles don't like to do the dirty work, then they I mean, why not? If, if they're going to murder somebody, am I in danger? Because it would make more sense just to kill us, right? I'm not sure on that. I'm not sure. Okay. So should I be <laughs> should I be hiring someone to just I I'm, I'm a little nervous I'm now. Sure you'll be fine. Will I? We we have some strong friends in town. Hey, Cork! Cork! <laughs> <laughs> and Cork comes out and he's this burly dwarf yeah, and, and he's carrying a mallet that he, they use to help seal up the uh, kegs. What is it? They, they, they said we could be in danger that someone uh, might try to kill exactly. us. <laughs> we, I'm sure you you all have um, you know guards and other people who could look out or friends in the city at least. You know. I mean, yeah, we have friends, but how do we know it's not our friends? They wouldn't be very good friends, would they? Right? <laughs> They'd be horrible friends! She's like, oh, we don't even have friends anymore! Cork, you hear that? We don't have friends anymore! <laughs> He's a very good businessman, but... Boy, is he into uh, conspiracy theories. <laughs> I'm, I'm yeah. sorry for uh, his nature. No, that's all right. We don't. I mean, as far as the pattern of the crime, I don't think you guys. <laughs> <laughs> there's patterns now. Yeah, well, I mean, there's what been four. The there's been no, almost four bodies. Almost on your property. What happened to the four? We <laughs> saved her actually last night. Oh. Yeah. Well, good. That won't hurt the business then. Nope. nope not at all. <sighs> Sorry to get you so worked up. Um, We're just simply trying to find out more. I am not sleeping tonight. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yeah. Are you for hire? Um, it depends. <laughs> on? Are you for hire? Well, we got this. Uh, we got these these jobs from the job board. So if you guys put a post on the job board, I mean, you, you might look at it. Like okay. <laughs> <laughs> Um, Short answer is, yes. So, Will you walk me to the job board? What if they try to kill me on the way? I mean... He's a nervous if, fellow, isn't he? I... Quite a bit. If you were to stay here in guard, I don't know if it would help to know what you were looking for. Is it possible if we would You're know... You're doing investigating! What should you be looking for? Well, I'm wondering if we're able to know who's made an offer on this place. Or if... Absolutely, absolutely. Just one second. And Which family name? Oh. And, and he, he leaves. <laughs> he does. Well. Sorry to rile them up. <laughs> yeah, it's gonna be a long night now. <laughs> Get some alcohol in, and we'll call it a day. Uh, <laughs> the thistle tops. Uh, they they made an offer. Yeah, I was like, I don't remember. I remember hearing that name, but not necessarily <laughs> in this game. <laughs> Uh, let's see, there was, uh, the, the Narbubs, they're, they're a pretty good client of ours, so I figured they just own a distillery, they can make their own beer. <laughs> and then there is, uh, this is the best, I love this one. The Gilricks. They made an offer as well. Uh, just the son, not, not the parents, the son made an offer. Great. Uh, that's most of the noble families, I've heard of them few other groups that are talking about trying to put some money together, but they haven't offered up yet. I mean, popular opinion, you seem pretty well-liked around here, from what I've heard, the little time I've been here, so. Well, th thank you. I, I, I'll make sure to send you off with a keg for help. Oh, out. thanks. Yeah. Um, you haven't had any direct threats or anything, right? It's just been this these cases. No, we've not received any threats at all. All right. So, so it's the thistle tops, and then there's. I already told him, okay? <laughs> you come down, go back, and have yourself a pint. Maybe a keg. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Oh, okay. Okay. I'll, okay. Th thank you. Th thank you. <clears throat> thank you. And would you like to buy welcome. any of our alcohol? I'm giving them a keg, okay? 
Why are you, why are you staying in, in God in the place that you're going to come? What do you think? It, it, will, it, it won't It will be necessary. We'll, we'll be okay. Yeah. yeah, they'll be fine. I mean, the guards are posted out at night, so. That's right. There are we, ma- have you had guards. the watch out here? Has that been every night or just some nights? Uh, it's just been some nights, but okay. we don't sleep here, so we actually yeah. go home, so. That's true. Yeah. That's good. Okay. Well, thank you. Sorry to upset you. Uh, it, it's okay. And, uh, here. And he gives you not quite a full keg. It's more like a, a quarter keg. It's a smaller barrel. Pony uh, keg? Is that what it is? That's what it's called. Awesome. Hey, a pony <laughs> keg! <laughs> I'll accept it. So, <laughs> and, and hand it to the table. Yeah, I'll, I'll yeah. carry it. All right. <sighs> Good luck, I hope. <laughs> All right. No, those There's are some my great characters for the night. So. <laughs> those are some great characters. Don't expect anything and the else. NPCs were talking to each other. Lot, that was a lot of energy. Well done. That, that, was, awesome. that was great. <laughs> that was exhausting just listening to you. Yeah. Yeah, so I was feeling nervous like, I, for him. <laughs> I do like the reverse uh, psychology you put on him, though. It's like, aren't you afraid for your life? <laughs> <laughs> so I, I, I just imagine Kyle's just completely ignorant, just has no but idea. It's working it's so but, well. but he's just like, Yes, people want you dead. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't even think. Like, no, it just doesn't. It's yeah. like, hey, maybe you tell this person it's okay. Nobody wants you dead. It's fine. They don't okay. want no you. They want your matter. business. It's okay. Yeah, no, yeah. you're going to die. <laughs> Say your prayers to work. Feels <laughs> oh, squishy. Like, like a grape. <laughs> oh, man. Wow. Well. That's worth investigating, eh? Indeed. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for <laughs> All right. us out. So what would you like to do now? Uh, what time is it? Well, They're probably cl- close to closing. They're getting ready so. to close, obviously. I'm I trying to, re- to remember. I've never... I've actually never met the Gilrick son. It's just been you, right? It's all, be- all been you. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Pretty much, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So I don't know much about him. Say. The rest so, of us yeah, that, have that, no, hold no, no interest for him. No one else has met. No one else has met. <laughs> there are no other people thought, in the group. I thought for a second that Reginald had, but he it's had It's literally been had like a no, solo. No. So you're going to need to hey, tell us. Hey, at least now we know he's real. That's right. Because someone else has seen him. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't make up embarrassing stories like that if they went through. <laughs> So what would you guys like to do uh, for the evening, and then you will uh, sleep? Um, I can't think of anything I mean, else that we're having to do this evening. Can tell us, but Go what? I don't know how long they're going to sleep. So, yeah, guys. here's what happens for the rest of the evening. You guys grab dinner, and you decide that uh, you weren't able to make contact with them. So you're going to go stake out that uh, area once more to make sure that no one else injured comes through. Yeah. Um, Ends up being about twelve thirty or so, a little after midnight. You hear the night's watch come through, and nothing has happened. So you go back to the inn, mm-hmm. where eventually, after they finish their escapades, they will join you. Cool. And uh, it is now the next morning, and you guys are all slowly trickling down, and there are biscuits and gravy for breakfast. Oh yeah. Mm. Hey, we got a keg for you guys. For breakfast? No, I mean, <laughs> unless you feel like it. But... Like, well, we got it last no, night, so you can, things, you, you, can have it whenever, you guys can have it whenever you want. <laughs> is it biscuit and gravy flavored? Because this is all I want. <laughs> I thought it was good. <sighs> long time no see. Yeah, it's been like two days. It's <laughs> <laughs> a long time. It's been a long time for us. I guess so. It's probably it's like weeks. It's longer <laughs> for me than it is for you guys. Why is that? I died at 25. <laughs> That's fair. <laughs> so boring. <laughs> so, man, we better hurry up and get this solved. I know. <laughs> yeah, you might be dead by the time we finish. Maybe. <laughs> Don't say that. It's not gonna There's happen. that bedside man. <laughs> As Co sharpens his sword. <laughs> You're right. You could die. <laughs> Sooner rather than later. <laughs> okay, buddy. <laughs> that rogue was supposed to be the creepy one. Right? <laughs> nope. <laughs> so, well. Well, we found some pretty cool information. 
good day. Why do you smell like fish? Uh, it's pretty normal, isn't it? <laughs> it is pretty normal. Not, Worse not, than not fish. Day. There's there's generally a smell, but this time it's specific. Oh, uh, that's right. <laughs> By the way, okay, I got a big fishing story to tell you guys at another time. But needless to say, I caught a fish this big, and I stretch out my tail one way, <laughs> yeah, and my say. arm the other way. I guess that's the only way I can reach. I caught a fish that big. Super big, right? He definitely told me about it. That's worth a lot. Where's it now? I sold it. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, come on. Yeah. That's what I would do. I mean, I <laughs> figured you'd make some big fish stew or something. Well, being the chef. that's what the fish is about. I got some other fish. I got some little fish, and I got the big fish. That's how we I get eat. the little fish. Still so poorly. <laughs> <laughs> well, nice. Anyways, I heard it's you're breakfast. a ballerina now. <laughs> <laughs> Just looks around at like everybody. News to me. I heard you're a fisherman now. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just gonna keep eating biscuits. <laughs> well, anyways, uh, I can give you guys an update on where we are with uh, the investigation. We made some good headway last night. Um. Cypher was there. Oh, uh, yeah. With us. Well, you were on the other side of the wall, but you, you were there. We would have told you about what happened, right? Around? I was there for the Yeah, you guys must have like, told Yeah, for about the, the party. About the party. Yep. Right, but I wasn't there for the thing, for the, the brewery, the brewery, brewery stuff. Yes. Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So long and short of it is, we visited the brewery. We got the names of people who made an off on it. We think people are trying to drive down the price by shrouding the this there. with ill repute. And murders. So was one of them your boyfriend? I don't have a boyfriend. <laughs> what are we talking about? Did Reginald say anything? Were you, you didn't tell me about this. I told you she was dancing, right? Oh. Yeah. <laughs> I eat more yeah. biscuits. <laughs> I was a little more angry this time. <laughs> yes. Yeah. One was Gilrick's family. Actually, it was just him. The Narbubs party. We were at their party. So Papal family. And thistle tops. I'll put an offer on this place. <laughs> yeah, if it was me trying to buy a place, I would want it as cheap as possible. Yeah. Would you go so far as me to too. kill people there? <laughs> if I didn't care about people and what they wanted. Oh, that sounds like it. <laughs> I don't know. It sounds like he cares about some people. <laughs> <laughs> Does he, though? No. Does he though? Because he doesn't care about anything that she says when she's like, with him no at all. Well, so, bye. Yeah. So. Um. Never said anything about the level of care. Just he seems interested. Whether that's for some reason. All right. So what are you guys doing? <laughs> <laughs> so we may have got us indebted to the mob. What? What? <laughs> A little bit. No, I don't know what you're talking about. We paid our debt. Even low for two seconds. seconds. Did we though? Yeah, I guess we did. What? And we got information. Just... Oh, I just said you leave him alone for two seconds. <laughs> Sheesh, for real. What? He dragged me there. What happened? He took drugs. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. If I was a drinking woman, <laughs> I would take that beer right now. <laughs> Are we really going to get into this discussion? <laughs> <laughs> so you're, you're a criminal and a fisherman. <laughs> he started it. <laughs> what? Oh, Eight. we got information on Nubby and Stubby, yeah. by the way. Well, you were drugged, I assume. No, no, after. <laughs> Before. Yeah, it, was before. Before. <laughs> it was before. It was before. A little both, actually. Yeah, you. That's true. You were drunk twice. <laughs> yes. Once was sort of not under my desire. That's kind of what drugging does. To yes. Somebody, but I will take responsibility for the second time, though. <laughs> um. Oh so, yeah, that's you've been under it twice. You were yeah. much more susceptible that second time. So you caught a fish, you're indebted to the mob. Not anymore. No. Oh. But kind of. They know who we are. They know who, they don't know who he is. Maybe. Why? Maybe. Wait, what? Yeah, it was weird. What do you mean to me? 
There were shenanigans. We had to steal some stuff. We robbed a witch. Wow. Sounds like an eventful uh, night. Yeah. So there, yeah. don't go... There was a doll. Yeah, it's still a nice dolls. doll. Oh my gosh, where was this at? What was it called? <laughs> the Spider's, spider's Nook. Nook. Yeah, mm. that place. That oh. nice old lady that we asked all the questions You mean about. that super creepy witch? Yeah, yeah, her. Well, I thought she was pretty nice. Yeah. We did, we a little stingy on the price of the, yeah. the bracelet. But... See? There you go. You just know stingy people. You know, not next great time, people. just don't tell me. True. <laughs> just don't tell me. <laughs> okay, guys. <Mac>. Uh, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, I can't okay. remember what they told us about their cloak during the day. As a That's hunchback. right. Hunchback. hunchback. That's right. Because they might live in a water tower or a bell tower or somewhere hunchbacks live. Yes. In sing songs. Hmm. Interesting. Wow. I made up that last part. I'm okay. Just, it's true. I made that up that part, too. Is there, yeah. uh, <laughs> but they do dress as hunchbacks during the day. At least that's, that's right. what they told us. Okay. We can speculate about their other their other Their things. extracurricular Qualities. activities. Interesting. Well. I guess that would make sense. Uh, Which one's the face? Would have to be the one without legs, right? Wouldn't he be on top? The one without arms. Right, but if he's just the hump? The one without arms. Maybe oh, just the hump. Well, that would suck to be on someone's back your whole life under a cloak. Well, I mean, at night they probably get out from under the cloak. <laughs> <laughs> With a super straight face, she just nods. <laughs> you are in rare form today, sir. <laughs> Co is oh, the drag of this game. <laughs> <Yes. laughs> Nothing goes over my head. I'm a catching court. <laughs> well, uh, what's what's top importance? Besides your fish story, I kind of think that should happen next. I mean, okay. You really want me to tell you about my adventures on the water? <laughs> it sounds like it was a multi day. What was this? I mean, I did kind of fish. Well, two fish, three fish. Uh, more. Fish. More. Thank you, Dr. Seuss. <laughs> <laughs> no, it was three fish, because you got the tiny one, and yeah. then you got the, the big one. Big middle and, one, and, and, and then, then the, the big, yeah. you know, this one. And do a search again. <laughs> That's a big fish. Yeah. So, I was looking for some dead fish to do some cooking. You guys can. I'll make it for you later. I've got the dead fish up in my room. That's what you're smelling. Don't that's that great bad. perfume. Yeah, exactly. See, so someone around sense. here appreciates my hard work, right? So I was going around trying to get some fish. May or may not have uh, trespassed a little bit. Um, it was accidental, completely accidental. <laughs> and then I met this wonderful, beautiful, just shining, gleaming, you met a girl? muscular, huge old man with like the strongest <laughs> muscles you've ever seen. His name is Homer. Homa, sorry. No, you get his name right. Well, That's right, because you, you like But I'm saying it in the accent. Oh, okay, yeah. yeah. Yep. So, Homa, and uh, whew, what a pillar of wisdom and strength and, 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 and just glory that man is. I thought Grezebel was your lady. Who's Grezebel? Yeah, none of you actually know Grezebel. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. I thought you would have talked about Who's it. Who's Homa? Actually, you, you would... Because it would have been a little bit of in the dream state. There you go. He, would have, uh. he has, has to communicate. Haha, ha, it so. was in character. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, are you soft on an old man and somebody else? No, I'm not soft on an old man. I'm very much. <laughs> <laughs> There's no way to answer this appropriately. <laughs> <laughs> and check me. <laughs> For the sake of the family, strictly screen. platonic. <laughs> <laughs> Think of it as a mentor-mentee relationship. Okay. Your okay, mentee. but who's Grezebel? She your mentor too? <laughs> or is she she your mentor? <laughs> <laughs> she your sweet dreams? Uh, oh, goodness. I don't know what you're talking about with this Grezebel. Hmm. Anyways, so Homer and I get onto his his yacht and <laughs> and <laughs> keeps getting better. He's a great man. 
<laughs> Hopefully you'll meet him someday. Get onto his yacht. Oh, you're gonna. He t- <laughs> <laughs> takes, yes. me, takes me fishing. And, uh, that was nice. you know, just, uh, he lends me a rod, lets me keep it, because he's just that generous of a man. And, uh, first cast I throw out there, it's just a butte. Just a butte, and I catch a good, solid sized fish, right? Respectable. He's, he's intertwining a little bit of the story. <laughs> it's like any good fishing story. Don't worry, you'll yeah, make yeah. your own deception at the end. Oh, yes. <laughs> then. We did think. So I reel that in, do it, do all right with that. You know, but then he says, cast it over that way, Sonny. And so I do. <laughs> the gleam of sunlight. Oh. I can hear Bryce saying it now. <laughs> and so I do. But just that one phrase. Yeah. Whole, <laughs> and then the rest of it's not that. <laughs> so I cast it again, and I get a bigger fish. Even bigger. And so I say, once more. Once more. And he says, that's the spot right there for you, Sonny. And so I, I toss it out, give it a good toss, and sure enough, lo and behold, I catch a whale. A huge whale. You caught a whale? What kind of I mean, a small mean? whale, but it's still a whale. I think the shark's more impressive, man. You caught a shark? Wait. What? Okay, it's a shark. It was a shark, all right? Everything See, else is true. Keep, it's a shark. Like, you a gotta just, something? if you tell it straight, kept the people teeth. are more likely to believe you. You should have kept the two. Mm, that's how true. you. Know, that's how you can prove. Like, Maybe you can go back to them and see if thing. they kept the jaws like they do with mm. places. Might have to do that. <laughs> roll <Jeez>. deception. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone else can roll perception. Yeah. I mean, I've already heard it once. So oh my gosh! Get <laughs> Natural yeah. one. <laughs> <laughs> Natural. One. Yep. Oh my gosh! A whale and a shark. He got a whale shark. I rolled a sixteen. I rolled a twenty-six. Oh wow! Twenty-seven. So so, so Cyrus like, come on. But both of you are like, wow. Oh my gosh. You still have a fishing rod? I do, actually. Yes. (laughs) It's up in my room. It's on a character sheet. That is awesome. It is a excellent scrap fishing rod. Man. That's pretty cool. Well, if you need any soap over the next couple days, let me know. Sorry, I'm sitting next to you, but no. it's just coming oh, over. Oh, God. That's, that's, not, that's not how you clean a fish. <laughs> I, I know. It's, okay. it's for you. I think he's like, but a goblin. <laughs> <laughs> just saying, your, your jacket's so nice, you don't you don't want it to, like, Ooh. always carry it smell, I guess. Or do you? Like, I think that might ruin his jacket. No, I'll show it. I like the thing she gives you. She healthy. gives you some soap, and you just take a bite out. Oh, <laughs> that's <laughs> right. Please. I mean, it's lie. <laughs> oh man. I actually do have a bar of soap on my character sheet. So what are we Prist- doing now? Wow. Pristine. Pristine. Yes. Completely. <laughs> this shiny thing. So, anyways. Yeah. Well, that's my fishing story, and that was great. Yeah. It's all so real. You're a fisherman and a chef. <laughs> Some of them, <laughs> yes. I didn't. I actually didn't get to do any chefing because then we, uh, then we had to go visit some friends. Yeah, and that's how we got the information. Well, all's well that ends well. I guess. I guess. All right. So we got Nubby and Stubby. Mm. Murder mystery. Am I missing anything else? Those are the only ones that we have. Like in the works. Accepted. <laughs> yeah. Accepted. That's well. No, we took the salvage job. We just haven't done anything. You haven't yet because you haven't gone down there to talk to anyone about it. Oh. You. Mm-hmm. We, you we took just, the thing. That's enough. <laughs> <laughs> like Witcher Three, you removed the. That's thing. right. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. Uh, it, it's giving you a new location somewhere, but you haven't <laughs> gone there yet. It's a shiny point on our map, but it's. You know. <laughs> well. Preventing the loss of life is probably the higher priority. Whose loss of life? Mine first. Right. But, but after that. That's true. That's how they ended up nubby and stubby. So it's not like Fez is looking for him even more now. So, yeah. As long as we're not dead. That is the goal, I guess. Um, 
So out of these three noble families that we heard, are there any that stick out to you as far as being more suspicious? Well, Zero. to be honest, I never heard of the Thistletops yet. Narbubs were where the party was. You were there. There's a big Wait. half-orc family in town. You guys went... Oh, that's right, you went to a party without me. <laughs> you were feeling sick. You were feeling ill. And to be honest, you could have I threw asked. up too. But I thought you weren't... You were really grumpy. I get grumpy when I'm sick as well, mm. but... That's fair. Goblin grumpy is another level. Um, And then... Gilric also placed an offer. He's the young. He's the son of um, an older couple in town. Pretty rich, so. Uh. That's my vote. I mean, but he's... what do you? What's the next? What do you do about that? Just say, oh. It's a valid question. I don't know much about nobility. <laughs> Never mind. I know a lot about nobility. Um, <laughs> Roll. <laughs> I'm, I'm trained in society, so yeah, I'll give yeah, it a so shot. Am I. Yeah, Roll then, society. Anyone that has it odd. as a train. Uh, Thirteen. Fourteen. <laughs> well, <laughs> well, you would know that you would need some solid evidence. Just mm-hmm. an ac- accusation isn't going to come. Yeah, out. and yeah. just bring it up to him. He's just going to. I mean, you could yeah, deny we're just going to tip him off that we know. You think the he two of you would likely get the understanding that because of that night is probably why uh, Reginald is no longer on the case. Gotcha. Oh, lost him his job. He seems to like you. Maybe you could kill him. I don't really. Fly like that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that's fair. But well, we don't even know what if he just yet. got him out of his house? We know I mean, a, he's we out know a place that enough. has drugs. We could go to uh, Experience where the the girls and were, where the victims she were. She could give him drugs. <laughs> You're not wrong. I mean, that could get in a lot of trouble. But at least it wouldn't hurt him. I mean, there's there's validity in that. <laughs> What's your alignment? <laughs> what is your alignment? Mine is oh, no. hers. Oh, mine. No, she it was lawful was neutral. Yeah, there's, there's there's no way you'd be you okay be with, that. with that. Yeah. Not no. even a little. Bit. I, well, yeah. it depends. What do you follow your own code? I do, and I can send it to you. But I can also get more detailed with it as well. Okay. So, yeah, as long as it doesn't violate your code... I wasn't planning on it. I was just not a problem. acknowledging uh, the fact that not killing him is a good thing. Also, but... it's technically legal, correct? Or is it... The drug is not legal. The no. drug is not legal. No. Okay. Huh? It's just widespread. Got it. A fizzle tap. Yeah. Uh, Faz has plenty of money to go around. Right. Well, mm-hmm. I think we just need to get him out of his house. Because if we get him out of his house... We can go in his house and search for evidence. That's a good point. Does he live with his parents? I think so. But I'm not 100% certain. He said that they he lived in a large manor, I think in the center oh. of town, so it wouldn't be hard to find. He lives on the coast. Oh, remember. okay. Thanks. Well, if he's the one drugging... He has invited you. <laughs> we could we could ask the... <laughs> You've got an open invite to hang out with him pretty much anytime. Yeah, uh, yikes. We can play that card maybe a little later. But we we could go to Experience and see if the owners of that place have seen Gilric in there on the night mm. that, that the murders happened. We know each night happened. We, ha- we know th- we have three noble families. However, that we have their names. We could see if... didn't Anna say that the stranger met them in the cot. They might not be it. Experience, or do they get no, in she, from experience? Yeah, no, yeah, she met him there. Oh, okay. But and she maybe can't remember what it looks questioning. like. Oh, and that's where she was drugged, was experience. Yeah. I'm thinking if we go there and we ask around, and mm. we know we have three noble families' names, that we can see if they were there, any of them were there at that night, on those nights. Um, that'll at least give us more evidence. So, we know that the Gilricks are elves, we know that the Narbobs are half orcs. Mm. What are the thistle tops? Can we are we able to recognize them? We could ask maybe they? somebody at the We have to ask about them. Mm. We have to ask around. Just thinking that we can identify anyone who comes in from any of the families. Mm-hmm. Try to figure out who they are. I know this is different perhaps than how we've operated but it, it would be nice to be as above ground with this soul as possible i was just throwing out options no, I mean, it's, i'm indifferent good <laughs> <laughs> why you didn't do anything 
I mean, yeah. <laughs> Snuck into a party, it wasn't me. Really that All was right. interesting. Well, we've established motive. So what are the other things that we need to establish? Opportunity. And... You're pretty good at this, huh? That's so so in every murder investigation... Who, what, what, I know what it is, but my character wouldn't know. So. Um... There's not investigation. Oh, roll perception. That's the closest to knowing how things work. Where's the uh, investigator? 17 for me. 18 for me. But otherwise, it'd be like a job or whatever. But Pro- yeah, Profession? So, profession. Uh, but basically, you guys would understand that there needs to be a victim, which we have. You need to have a reason for it. Unless it's a meaning or reasonless crime, and you're gonna need a murder weapon and yeah. a murderer. What you're thinking of is motive, opportunity, intent. Yep. Yeah, yeah. But I guess, yeah. But to be able to prove that it's him, you're going to need evidence Physical. of some sort. Right. That's why. Right, yeah. And specific <clears throat> evidence. Or catching him in the yeah. act. There's that's that the too. other side of things. Mm-hmm. That's true. Oh, so, what if we stake out experience, then? Sounds good to me. I think that's a good idea. It's a good starting pot. Oh. We could split the party. <laughs> someone's a cart driver, someone's a guard. <laughs> so they say we could stake out experience, or we could stake out what's his not yeah. So You've also had a body from the arena. That's yep. true. Hmm. <clears throat> but we don't know that another the body place was from where the this guy has been seen. Mm. Yeah. Oh yeah. Did we ask? Did they? Did they all have that drug in, us, in their system? They did, didn't they? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Well, I don't know if you guys know. Are there any other places in this town that you could get a drug like that besides experience? I'm just fizzle tap. <laughs> This is tap. This is tap. For surezies. Do they have sweet dreams at experience though? Because it's legal. It's, it's illegal. 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 It's just common but illegal. They, right? They've paid off people to be. Okay, able to... gotcha. So it's just like a, a known thing. You don't yeah. want to die. Because I was gonna say if we if there's only one supply chain and it's fizzle tap, then we can maybe find out mm-hmm. when who and when purchased it well it sounds like the only place that's not that doesn't have it at least readily available or someone there who's again i don't know if it's coming from the joint i think it's coming from the person he's just meeting these people there yeah yeah Mm yeah yeah we could go and ask if they're open i don't know if what experience yeah later in the evening or what but just staking out at the place. We were there last night. I mean, it only goes so far. You just find victims, no further evidence, really. Yeah. So. Oh, for the dump spot. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, there was nobody yesterday. Was there a party last night? I don't know. I didn't see any, did you? Well, she was at the ex- party of experience with her. Right, <clears throat> but that was a girls' night out. That wasn't really a party. The oh, party I'm about talking about party. was the big party, and they had them fairly regularly. Mm-hmm. Right, and Gilrick was there at the party, mm-hmm. so he wouldn't have probably been at the the girls' night out himself. The girls' night out happened before, and they carried it over to the Narbubs. Right. Yeah. Sounds like we just need to take a walk around the fancy side yeah. of town. I'm just gonna... Figure out when the next party's gonna be. You could go so this time. Back. I feel like you'd be a natural at it. Besides maybe the fish smell. That I might I might uh yeah. That's fair. <laughs> <laughs> I get how society works. <laughs> Does that smell good to you? Yeah. <laughs> well, Take my plate. <laughs> you know, with yours. <laughs> Just... I guess in your terms, good. To me, it smells rotten and horrible, which is. Yeah. 
Just saw the stars in the eyes. <laughs> so what are we doing? Are we going to walk? I think we uh, use the daytime to kind of kind of scope out like the nicer side of town and, and these estates and try and find out like like part where parties mm. might be happening. If Gilray lives with his parents, like layout of the houses, that sort of thing in case we need to get in there. And then at night we stake out experience and, and try that. So maybe a couple of us inside and a couple of us hanging out outside. Mm -hmm. Kind of thing. Sounds good to me. Yep. Okay. So where are we going? Uh, to the noble area. The aristocratic section. Okay. The coast, I guess. Is that, is that split between castle district and other so, places, or just castle? So that is the uh, Critic Square. Mm -hmm. It's going to be the eastern side of Critic Square, along with the coastline there. Okay. All right. Let's do it. So you're just gonna walk Critic Square? Is that the plan? Is there a marketplace I mean, in Critic Square? As no. Well? No. Okay. So it's just dwelling. Dwellings and stuff are on the east side of the main road, and on the west side of the main road is some of your uh, like carpenters and glassmakers, and that's where the 2K Brewery is and stuff like that. Okay. So your industrial district, so, so. I mean, we could walk by and see if we can find where the uh, thistle tops live. Like where yeah, I was gonna say is. if there's passers by, just ask. Yeah. To be directed to their house or something like that. Yeah, something like that. Yeah. Okay, works for me. Let's do it. All right. So yeah. strolling down the streets, uh, this area of town is much cleaner than the rest. Uh, there are people walking about. Uh, you do see a couple stands, but not quite shops. And they're like food stands, basically. Um, it looks like some people from the uh, other districts come up and set up food stands in as long as they're clean and in allotted areas, uh, usually some of the street corners and stuff, just to make it easier for the nobles to get any items that they might want as they're traveling. Want to act, ask like the food stand people? Sure. Let's go up and have a chat. Yeah. <clears throat> All right. So the first one that you do come across is a uh, almost like a bread stand. It has most breads, uh, some muffins, and stuff like that. And uh, there is a young uh, human female there. Okay. What can I do you for? Well. uh... Those muffins, sir. Are... Well, thank you kindly. Manus. Much Sorry. appreciated. These uh, muffins look pretty oh, pretty boy. fine. How much how much for the muffins? Uh they're, they're <laughs> copper piece, sir. We'll take four. One for the one for the streets as we walk. Question for you. Uh these big fancy houses. You know who lives here? Oh my. All, all the noble families. I'm sure you have a residence here too, based on your deck. Oh no. Please, you're too kind. I'm a traveler. I'm a traveler from far away, so I'm I'm new to this area. Would love to know just like what are we seeing here? Who who lives here? What what are they about? But you're a trusty god. That may be the case. Are there a lot of them here? Uh not in this town. There's only one, but I had heard that you there were others. Oh, you didn't say we had a family there? We could go say hi. I didn't know. We've got big families as goblins. <laughs> Sorry. It's hard to keep track. <clears throat> got a lot of cousins. <clears throat> Roll perception. I was going to do you. Yeah. <laughs> Ugh. Twelve. <laughs> Twelve. Okay. Uh, you notice a little bit of thieves can't on our part. Mm -hmm. Let's yeah, just cut to the chase here. My friend, Sir? Mr. Trusty Guy over here, yes, really wants to know how much trouble has Gilrus been giving you? I've not had any problems with any of the noble families. Like, none at all? Not even the she younger one? He hasn't hit on you? He hasn't given you a hard time? Nothing like that? No, and uh, we I'm not usually the, I'm not the only one up here, but we've not had any trouble with uh, any of the younger generation hitting on us. Good to know. 
All right. All right. Hmm. You familiar with the thistle tops at all? Oh yes, the thistle tops. Are they in this area as well? Uh, the thistle tops. It's a family of leshies. I ask out of character. I don't know. Plant people. Yeah. Oh. So thistle tops is literally like. Yeah. They probably have. They're known by their crown of thorns. Yeah. It's cool. How regal. That's so cool. Leshies. <laughs> I don't know if I would have seen any better. That'd be sweet. Uh, Leshies don't typically show too much of male or female features, but uh, the main, uh, I guess, Mr. Thistletop and uh, Mrs. Uh, I guess that's what they go by. I, Patriot? I, I don't know how to, to say it. Uh, but yes, they, they just live further up the road, and she points down one of the roadways there. Well, thank you thank for the you. information. I give her a silver, and then we go. Or at least I try to pull people, or I <laughs> pull you specifically away. I need the muffins. <laughs> like, and, and she, she's boxing them up. Okay. <laughs> here, here you are. One for each of us. Mm. Yeah. What kind of muffins? Thanks. All right. So do you pull him away for a private conversation? or? No, no, no. I just want to get him away before... She starts asking more questions and figures out that he's not who he says he is, or gives somebody or gets more information for somebody to give somebody else. Okay. Also, Mister Trusty Gob. Uh, yes. I believe a uh, Mister Faz would like to see you soon. Interesting. Thank you for relaying that information. We were all told this morning. All right. <sighs> Well, let's go. Let's yep. go. <laughs> we'll uh, we'll be sure to pay him a visit sooner, better than later. I've been told. Uh, all right. <laughs> Judging by your guys' faces, I guess this Faz isn't a kindly fellow. I should go and talk to them all if they were talking about him. Right. Also, I need to learn intimidation from that little girl. It's pretty funny. <laughs> uh, tough stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Of course, we're not right. going to say that. Uh, it, but yeah. So what? We want to keep exploring. I wanna... figure we're going to go up to. The, you guys want to look at the thistle tops, right? Oh no, they are now. Okay. All right. So you head up to the thistle top area, and there are low lying bushes that are used as a fence line, and it is almost an immaculate garden. Uh, cool. They keep very good care of their garden. And uh, what you would expect to be a mansion is actually just a large tree that has some windows and stuff built into it. Oh, this is beautiful. Uh, you guys seen anything like this before? Yeah, it's a tree. <laughs> I just, I just, it's the exact same reaction. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> tree. There's one over there. There's one over there. Oh, right, right. I guess I shouldn't expect it. Yeah. And uh, then there also is a large greenhouse on the property. Man, I wish I was friends with this person. Well, thing. you probably can be. A nobility apparently love you. I don't know it's why. Got a point. <laughs> <laughs> why don't you just go knock on their door and just say hi? Introduce yourself. All I can hear is the Three's Company theme song. I'm like, I don't know. I don't want to derail us too much. I, I mean, what are other items for today? Uh, finding this Gilrick's house. I guess you already know the Narbob house. Apparently, True. You know it very well. Well, did you want to see it? You seem a little hooked. No, I just oh. want to be invited. Huh. Well, we weren't invited either, if it makes you feel bad. Oh, you were, uh... <laughs> now he's <laughs> even more irritated. <laughs> you crashed a party? <laughs> Tell me! <laughs> I thought I knew you. <laughs> me too. <laughs> <laughs> we'll just try to forget about that night. Well, don't you have an invitation to the Gilrex house? I mean, we can go, sure. Right. I don't know exactly where it is, I'm sure it's easy to find. Yeah. Do you want to go? Can... I would feel better meeting him with you guys. So. You want us to approve of him? 
<laughs> she was just gonna like streak off towards where she thinks his house might be. Alright, so you start heading east towards the coast. Um, as you do, you come to the final lane before they're just property lines uh, or fenced areas mm -hmm. that overlook the water. Now, this part of the area is slowly sloping as you travel north, but it is over a large, um, almost like mountain or cliff that overlooks the sea there. So, uh, but he has one of the properties along that line. You remember him telling you that he overlooked the water. Well, did I leave them in the dust or are they still here? <laughs> We caught right? Okay, good. I mean, depends on you going at full speed. Yeah, I was going to say, you can definitely leave us behind. Yeah, you definitely can. That's right. I'm not going to sprint. I actually do want you guys there. That's as annoying as you can be. Alright, so you. Okay, yeah, I'm going to breathe in the salt air. It's nice. This is like the view from Hillport. Kind of. So, the three of you make a perception check. Three who aren't her? So, oh, the yeah. three of us. Sorry, yeah. Everyone but gas man. Oh, okay. A whopping ten. Ooh. Nice. Twenty-six. Twenty-seven. Okay. So the two of you, uh, as you're crossing in front of one of the main gates of a property, you notice the Gilrick cart that you had seen before, as well as the Gilrick's main symbol is on their front gate. Clarification: We hadn't seen their cart at the party, right? Because it was a yep. hired cart. No, we, we, did. No, we did. Okay, yep. but it wasn't the one we were but investigating. Right. Okay. Thanks. Yeah. All right. Um, what are we planning to ask? Because once you meet him, he just kind of goes off on his own well, subject. I mean, I'm thinking at this point in our investigation, we can just try to be very nice to him, and maybe he'll show us around his place. Maybe we'll see some things that we might be able to make I note of. I have a feeling he's going to try to separate her from us. Probably be way more productive to do our looking around when he's not here. Are you thinking about breaking in? Of course. Oh, hmm. I mean, that's definitely a lot riskier, because if we get caught, they'll he know won't that we're... be here. Well, there, he obviously has guards <laughs> and other people. Does he? Do we see guards? There are yeah, guards. There, there are yeah. guards, there are <laughs> servants, there are people all about. Boom. Yeah, because, I mean, at the party last night, there were tons of guards. It doesn't sound like we can stay too long, right? Because you guys have business you have to take care of, apparently. Can I help you? Is that in the guards? <laughs> One of the guards. Oh. Still waiting for an answer. What are we looking for? I'm still waiting for an answer. <laughs> <laughs> hey. <laughs> <laughs> uh, just a moment. <laughs> You're doing worse to deal with him. I don't know what I was trying to say. I can't be like, hey, I think you did a murder. <laughs> well, no. We, that's why I say we... Mr. Like, Nasha, is nice. that you? Oh, now you're the famous one. <laughs> All right. I feel like I'm in royalty right now. You you appear just as described. That's comforting. Thank you. Um, on you the, the property and Potentially. Sir Gilrick. Well, I was wondering if his parents are here. Uh, they are not in right now, no. Oh. Is he? Absolutely. Great. Um, are we seeing the company? Are we? Uh, I don't care. <sighs> Please tell Sir Gilrick that Anasha and friends, oh, friends, <laughs> <Claudia>. I'm <laughs> loving this. So you oh, see a God. servant just book it towards the the mansion. All right, don't worry, Anasha. We'll stay with you. <laughs> oh, so a few minutes later, out comes Sir Gilrick. Oh, you should have had us go invisible. Beforehand, I thought Dang about. It. I just thought about that. Oh, that's right. That's right. Anasha, a... you Good slipped morning. away the other night, and the gate starts to open. But so glad you're here now. Would you like to see the mansion? It is a pretty place. Yeah, I'd love that. Absolutely. And your friends? They can come in too. That would be awesome. You're welcome to come. It's great to meet you, sir. I'm uh, I'm Co. Good to meet you, and he. Right. I'll shake his hand. <laughs> He's co. <laughs> so he is. Yep. And you are? Anasha's friend. Yeah. Okay, Anasha's friend. He, he likes to keep himself. And you? <laughs> this is, oh, this yeah. This is the worst. That's Why the, didn't we return mm, you invisible? Let's, let's see where this goes. Yeah. <laughs> 
like this. <laughs> <laughs> the name's Mancrack. <laughs> Roll the something. Oh, no. I, I Wait, is that, that one of your like cousin's names? Wasn't yeah. that like from the show? Yeah. Oh, okay. That's amazing. He's pretty... 17. Mancrack, you say? How'd you get that name? <laughs> It's a valid question. <laughs> Unfortunately, it's a name that's been passed down through my family. Those goblins, they can really name their children sometimes. You wouldn't believe. Well, Mancrack and friend, you are also welcome. <laughs> Oof. You rolled a one. <laughs> Yay! Ooh, that means he likes me more. Yep. Oh, is that part of his That's part of my uh, part of charming, charming liar. Yep. yep. Amazing. Critical success means he, he likes me more. <laughs> so, Anasha, uh, man crack, follow me, please. Huh? What? Yeah. Okay. All right, let's I go. was going to see if you recognized your name. Yeah. I know. We, I think we're all waiting for that, right? It's going to be in trouble. <laughs> so, uh, as you travel, he's talking to you about the gardens out front and uh, tells you a little bit about his horses that they have. And I am just, and... I'm kind of, I'm not getting far away or anything, but I'm definitely lingering and last in line, and I am just taking everything I can yeah. possibly Roll take. Seven. Yep. 21. Okay. Nope, 22, sorry. Alright, yeah, nice. uh, so you're taking note of some of the different entrances. You do notice that there is a small break in one of the fences that might not have been noticed yet. Uh, looks like an, you see as you're walking by, you notice that maybe an animal or something had knocked that part mm. of the fence loose. Um, Looking for, for guards and whatnot yep, as well. Then you're starting to track where some of the guards are and such. And then over here, we have uh, where we store our wine and uh, drinks. Uh, would, would you like something to drink? I'll pass, but thank you. It's good to have no. We, we have water, juice as well, not just alcohol. So. Oh, that, thanks. I just had breakfast, so I'm good. I mean, you've been walking all day. Are you not parched? Can I get some cider? Sure thing. I'm actually good, thank you, though. I think cider sounds great. <laughs> okay. You will better not die. <laughs> <laughs> All right. uh, would you like something to eat? Hmm, actually, that's more speaking my language. What, what do you have? Uh, we do have some uh, chicken that have just recently been roasted. Hmm. Uh, that, that's the plan for lunch if you all are staying. Well, are we, are we planning on staying? <laughs> uh, unfortunately, uh, unfortunately, uh, we do have engagement. some other errands to attend to this morning, okay. or this afternoon, but... Go ahead and whip up some appetizers, please. We'll just be a few moments. This is a beautiful place. You got a good spot. Th thank you. I, I was glad to show you, one of my friends, and, well, friend, <laughs> dancing well. partner. Oh, oh. Hmm. I, I heard. Uh, did she talks about me? Boy, That's fantastic. Does she? Um, You're just like she describes. So he, he, he holds out his arm. <laughs> she just like was wilting slowly the whole time, looking like panicked and betrayed by her friends. Come on, you guys. Can I take his arm? <laughs> <laughs> that would be amazing. You may attempt. Go ahead. Uh, that would be an attack roll. An attack roll? <laughs> oh, just, yeah. okay, okay, okay. I'm like, I'm not gonna attack it, yo. I just wanted... Just, oh, so oblivious. Oh. That is amazing. So I, I add my attack? Yep. Okay, so it's then a, uh, a 15. Oh, you'd like to dance too. And he grabs you by the hand and twirls you. <laughs> and then rolls his hand out to Anasha. Okay, that's pretty funny. I'll, just, I'll take it too. <laughs> and then he takes you in to escort you around. <laughs> Yeah, he, he, I, that was great. I, sh I, I shoot guys, Mac, a look. Just like, <laughs> man, these crazy tall people. What are you going to do? <laughs> um, your ciders are brought out. Go ahead and roll perception real quick. On the cider people? Yep. Okay. Ooh, 20, 28. Yeah, 12. Nice. All right. Uh, you, you notice a slight nod as... Is handed to him. Uh huh. I will, I will signal like method. eyeballs with, with Gazmac <laughs> while I just slight, and if I, sleight of hand to make I it got look a 12. like a roll perception again to see if you notice. Uh, 
that would be a 24 this time. Okay. So. so you notice that he's trying to signal you? Okay. Ooh. What does that look like? <laughs> it looks like whatever... Oh, no. The... Can you demonstrate what that looks yes, like? Yes, yes. I don't, I don't know <laughs> what the hand signals are for Thieves' Camp. Oh, okay. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> um, if in the meantime I can ask him about like the, the like party schedule and evening engagement stuff, so just you, to you get a sense to you of a that. Bit about, uh, there's going to be another party tonight, and uh, so what was it? An experience? Oh, uh, Narbubs. Probably a different yeah. place. Oh, at the Narbubs again. I at think. the Narbubs again. Uh, are they quite popular then? They are. They they tend to throw the most uh, bashes around. Huh. Uh, and here's your skewers. And it's uh, skewers of chicken and some peppers and stuff. Oh, thank you. You mind if I take these to go? Uh, please enjoy them now. Uh, I'm I'm gonna take them to go actually. Oh no! You should have roll said perception. Yes. <laughs> I uh I roll a. Uh... Uh, it's a uh twenty three. I insist, eat them now, and you feel a little intimidated. Okay. Wow. That's uh, terrible. I'm not going to eat them. Oh, you're going to okay. eat them? Okay, all right, I'll... I'll <laughs> That's the intimidation thing Okay, there, yeah. I will take a bite then. Okay. Tastes <laughs> good. Fort save. <laughs> it's quite good. Good. Um, Shall we continue? The tool? Yes. Uh, I, I mean, I wouldn't want to leave these guys behind. Well, they're coming with us. Oh, lovely. Yeah, let's, Absolutely. let's yeah. go. Um, How's your ciders? Excellent. And I have rolled... Well, I wanted to roll to basically sleight of hand to look like yep. I'm actually drinking it. So, and 30. Okay. Oh, 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 oh. Yours? It's not quite my taste. So I'll... Would you like anything else, then? Uh... Just some water would be nice. Some water it is. Yeah, right. the, the thieves can I gave you is basically danger poison drug. <laughs> Alright, so uh, out comes the water. Would you like to roll perception on the water? Yes. Okay. <laughs> Anytime a DM asks you if you'd like to roll for that something, means... yeah. roll for <laughs> yeah, the water. You gotta. Alright, that's a 17. Okay. Oh man, this guy is such a bad dude. Alright. Seems to be fine. I'll well. take a small sip. Okay. Just taste it. Oof. Roll a will save. <laughs> it's fair. With disadvantage. Uh I do have a plus two written on here for against fear. It's not a fear effect. Right. Uh yeah. so the first one's a natural twenty. So that'd be a twenty seven. Second one, so that's a 17. Okay. Well, let's see what the world should is. Where did I? You're starting to feel a little suggestible. <laughs> hey. <laughs> you need to make a little save as well. All right. Well, this is happening. I don't know if Does I can. Does it have to be a verbal suggestion? Not necessarily. It has to be something they would understand. Well, right. So is that with disadvantage? No, no. Okay, uh, eighteen. Okay, you're feeling okay right now. Cool. Oh, you sh you should drink up. Make another will save. Oh, yeah, I will. I, I will tell him don't or no in thieves can't or sign language or whatever it is. I'm hand signaling. I'm using. Yep. Okay. You have to roll perception with disadvantage. And you roll uh, thievery. Thievery. Thirteen. Fifteen. Okay. You do not notice it before you start the command. Mm. Okay. I don't know if I can, but while this is happening, it'd be nice to ask him, like, does he fight? I know you were at the arena. Like, what are your plans does are you gonna, with, for your parents and your house in the future? And, you know, I don't know. Okay. You still drink. You are now fully suggestible. <laughs> All right. I still drink even though I rolled? Yeah. He didn't have it because he's drank it before. Okay. That's why he's a senior. Yeah. I understand. Yeah, because you're more suggestible. And Every time. You have a less ability to withstand it. 
We just need to turn so the gas back invisible. Your DC and goes up and your ability to I mean, we can. save against it comes down. Got it. If I tell him you have to do it. But. With the disadvantage. So, um, you don't have silence, do you? Nope. Well then, um, fight them. What? What? And only listen to me. Guys, back. <clears throat> You all have been getting a little too involved in my business as of late. When Roll what? initiative. initiative. I was say, yeah. <laughs> we're coming out now, right? Oh man, I can't wait to fight him. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see. This what am I using for initiative? Uh, your thieves can't. Oh, oh well. D re for you, the rest of you will be perception. Okay. 20 non natural. And yours, yeah, yours will be perception as well. Mine's yeah. 11. Alright, hold on one second. Let what's me... your bonus to your perception? Or what's your perception? Uh, it's score? seven. Oh, okay. Like I got 14. a 20 on natural as well, nice. but uh, mine's 11. Alright, hold on. I'm pulling up to Combat manager? Yep. Jeez, I was trying to get I was trying to get him. So he didn't answer any of those questions when he was distracted? He was answering, or, but oh, he, okay. he still took he a second. Watching. Okay, no, that's fine. Well, I, just, if he I was thinks, just curious if it was If pertinent. he thinks both he and I are drugged, wouldn't he have tried to give all three of us? Um, Technically, yes, but neither of you would have followed it. Oh. He would have told you to drink up. Oh, that's fair, but he didn't tell me that. Yep. Yeah. All right, I need to add a last Okay. Oh, Ko's excited. <laughs> Ko just wants to stab Gazmac. Right <laughs> no, actually, actually, I have a good relationship with Gazmac. That's right. We have <laughs> so far. Yeah, I mean, we we understand each other a little bit. Okay. All right. Uh, Gazmac, what was yours? Twelve. Cipher. Twenty. Uh, with a eleven was my. Bones. So 31? No, 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 it was a non-natural oh, okay. 20, but it was... Anasha? And mine was 20 non-natural, but my perception was 7, so 7 bonus. <clears throat> and Co. 11. I'll let you give the, the guys decide who goes first. Oh, okay, oh. fair. So who would like to go first? Um, why don't you go first? Okay. Right. So one with one Rhea... With reaction moves, those still have to be on my turn, right? No. No? You have a reaction move? I have multiple. There's, there's, there's a different oh, one. Oh, shield. shield. So, like, for reaction. example, Glimpse of Redemption. It's a reaction. Oh, you can do that. Can I do that when it's not my turn? Or does it have to be my turn and I... Like, how does that work? No, okay. reactions you sh are a reaction, so you should be able to cast so if, it. For example... In, you cast it in response to another action. Right, so, so Gazmac attacks you, for example, I can glimpse of redemption him so that he'll hesitate if he... Yeah, if that's yeah, what you okay. wanted to do. Yeah. Well, yeah, you, you it would have to be in response to his action. You couldn't right. just do it outright. Exactly. That's what I wanted to verify. Alright. I have soap as well. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Second, I gotta put in some numbers. Are we just gonna no, so no map or anything? We're just gonna go off of whatnot? Yeah. Yep. It's all gonna be close combat. Um, Gazmac will get to decide how far he's trying to get from people, but. He just said fight them. He didn't say kill them. Kill us. He said fight them. And listen to only him. And listen, listen to only him. him. Alright, fair. Alright, Dork goes first. Uh, of course oh, he does. Oh, nice. So, he is going to move to Co. And attack. 
Can I react with Glimpse of Redemption on his attack? What's Glimpse of Redemption do? It is an enemy... Uh, oh, actually, no, that's only if it damages an ally. Yes. Never mind. Yep. That'll okay. come in handy later. So I'll just react with my shield then. Alright. That will be a... 29 to hit. Okay, yep. Yeah. And he strikes at you with a knife. Mm-hmm. It does 11 damage. Make a fort save. Is this... Uh, okay, no, it's only if it's ingested. Oh, by the way, I should have men- mentioned this. If anything I ingest, I have a plus one circumstance bonus, I believe. Wait, you, you, no, you, that's just... Well, actually, would that be... Anything that I drink, would that be counted as an inhaled? Yes. Okay, okay. Not inhaled, ingest. Right, <laughs> right. Okay. And you said a fortitude save? Yep. All right. Uh, that is a 28. All right. So you're not bleeding. And he's going to attack again. And that will be a... 21 to hit. <clears throat> and that is 13 damage. And another port save. That is a 16. Okay, you are still good. All right, Cypher. I mean, I can go next. Or an option, whichever. I'll go. Okay. So I am going to move in behind him. Okay. So basically to flank with an Asher. Flank with an Asher, with Ko, or whichever whichever one of them. Mm -hmm. Yeah, whichever you want to give that extra bonus to. Um, probably Anasha. Okay. Um, and I am going to basically try to jump up and stab him in the mouth. Okay. <laughs> oh. <laughs> so graphic. That's a uh, twenty-nine. That will hit. Well, plus flanking. Yep. So I mean, so thirty-two or whatever. 31. 31? Plus 2. Is that critically successful? No. Boo! <laughs> I was hoping. <clears throat> I'm basically trying to injure so him to keep him from being able to give commands. Because <laughs> I'm, I'm like, sure I'm about to get burned again. Uh, this is going to be fun. We'll see. So <laughs> that is 11 damage. Right. So that's one move, one attack, and you still have one. I'll go again. Go. Uh, Fourteen. That will miss. I figured. Well, what what is flanking? Is it a plus two? Uh, yeah, flanking is plus oh, two. Okay, then only like sixteen. That's uh sixteen. Yeah. So you don't critically miss. Anasha. All right, um, I'll move to him, go into crane stance, and then do flurry of blows. Not just been waiting a whole day for this. <laughs> <laughs> hey, he has to see me fight, so here we go. Yeah. Oh, dear. <laughs> one of those days. That's for the first one, and there might not even be a second one. So the first one was a natural one. Okay, so that's going to be a crit fail. Yep, and then the second one is a 25. 25? Mm-hmm. Well... It. Okay. That is bad day. <laughs> Great. <laughs> it was a one. So one plus, plus one. uh plus is right. I get four with fists, so no, it was a two. five, right? Yeah. So five damage? Uh-huh. Go ahead and roll damage again. <sighs> yep. Why are you hitting yourself? Oh, and of course I got a six on me and a one on him. Oh, you got so. a six on Cypher. On c- no! So is it plus four in that too? Uh, yep. Yes, so ten. Yeah. 
Oh, that's an owie. So, yeah. Sorry! <laughs> so that first attack, you came in with a kick, and just, he moved out of the way, and Cypher was right there, and he just connected with his, <laughs> the side of his head. I'm the worst. <laughs> and then you were like, oh, I'm sorry! Oh! And then he came with a, a punch and ended up hitting him. Cypher, like, just landed from uh. stabbing him, like, in the face. He's like, down, and then... <laughs> Damage. Friends Whoa, that fight yeah. together. I don't know. Do you have stunning blow? What like? Um, no. Or, or oh, no. you haven't got it yet. Yeah. Got it. Nope. All right. Um. Uh, so. Crane, you moved. Crane or, stance. You're already next to him, so you didn't have to move. Oh, okay. So crane, so crane stance, stance flurry attack. of blows. Yep. Okay. So you still have another attack if you'd like to try. <sighs> Um, I'm checking this again. Where was the thing? <clears throat> okay, um, That's I'll just right. try to hit him again this time. Okay. It's a 16. That will miss. Okay. Also, there is no crit misses with attack rolls based on AC. So oh, nice. the only time there's a crit failure this is when it's a one. Yep. Mm -hmm. Spells there are. Interesting. Yep. Mm -hmm. I just looked into that clarify, so. Mm -hmm. So now we know. Yasmak. Alright. So if I remember correctly, the rules are I have to complete the request. Correct. It doesn't dictate how I have to correct. Alright. That's right, because you're aware, aren't you? That you don't want to be fighting us, maybe? No. I mean, you're pretty suggestive. He, right? he has to fight you. But yeah, he's he, he's at least aware of the rest of it. That you guys are friends and all of okay, that. Okay, but okay. But he does have to complete... Right, no, no, that's what I mean. But he's aware yeah. that this, this isn't something he wants to be doing. Yep. Okay. Okay. I will cast Shattering Gem on myself. Okay. And then I will cast Shield. <laughs> okay. And that's my turn. Preparing for your fight. Cool. All right. I will. All right. For battle of medicine, I can use that as one action, correct? Um. Yes, you have that ability. I need to get my page with you from you with my uh, healer healer's gloves on because I can't remember what those do. Yeah, uh, the healing gloves, they do 2d6 plus 7. No, oh, nice. I might actually just do that instead so I don't have to DC. Alright. Yeah, I'm going to use the healer's gloves for my first action. So I took okay. a lot of damage. Nice. Okay. That's 11 plus 7, so 18. And then I'm going to, I will do weapon surge, and then attack with my longsword. Alright. That's 22. So just don't critically miss, because that will miss. Stab me 22 will miss? Yep. Oh, that's unfortunate. Yeah, you're looking for a 25. 25. You sussed it out. <laughs> <laughs> I get mad. <laughs> And then I th think I may have one action left because I think weapon surge is, is a it uses a focus point. So yeah, uh, does it take an action? Though? Doesn't say. It says cast one semantic. That would be a. One. So it takes one to use it. Then yeah, one okay, yeah. yeah. So that's my turn then. All right. You feel rich. I was gonna say rolls perception first to see what he's doing and he rolled a natural one <laughs> so it was gonna be with disadvantage i'm not even gonna bother rolling the second one because it doesn't matter mm. so he doesn't notice that you're basically buying time um and he's gonna keep up his assault Ooh. against cool. whom okay good mm. Is this not me? Oh, you guys are just have to <laughs> do the damage. I'll just take the damage, I guess. 
We do need to raise your AC somehow. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You have armor on, don't you? What armor mm -hmm. do you have? Mm -hmm. Oh, you also have a shield, so. Yeah. Which I will react with, but. Well, yeah. Plus, plus two. It was a. Oh. That's a critical success. Yeah, I was going to say. Because that's 19 plus 17. Yeah, it's a plus 17 to hit, by the way. He's very scary. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, that's a critical hit, so he's going to double his damage. Co 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 well, I'm might. glad I healed myself, guys, because I would be dead. Co, you still might be. <laughs> I still might be, but... That is 26 damage. Okay. And this is his first attack, so... Like, yep. And make up work save. Alright. Alright, I pass. It's a 26. Okay. Something. Alright. Where are you at? Uh, health wise, um, last how much damage was the last one? Twenty six. Twenty six. He I was at forty three. So not good. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Did he crit again? No, he crit failed that time. Oh, so nice. <laughs> Does he stab himself and cause bleeding damage? He is going to stab himself. Not cause. No, his work is plenty hot. Good to know. Hmm. <laughs> Written that down. That actually does change what I was going to do. <laughs> <laughs> but that is 14 damage. And then he will attempt one more attack. And that is going to be an 18. All right, I'm unconscious. No, eight, Wait, 18, 18 to 18. hit. Oh, 18 to yeah. hit. Oh, oh, okay. oh, I thought you said 18 damage. I was like, <laughs> okay. Uh, what was your AC? Yeah, it's 19. Okay, so it does not hurt you. <laughs> <laughs> I literally yeah. thought you were like, oh, that's, eight, eight, yeah, that's 18 damage. <laughs> that's all. Cypher. Until right. next round, I guess. I am going to... I am going to swing away. I don't really have anything fancy I can do. Okay. 25. That will Actually, hit. 27. That will hit it still. I forgot to roll to include my sneak attack damage on my last one because oh. I'm not paying attention. Um, and he will need to make a fort save. Okay. I figure it's worth a try. What the fourth save is, I don't know. I don't know. I've, I'm triggering the... Or does he get a fourth save? I don't know. I'm trigger, triggering the little uh, blood beak thing on my... The talisman on my weapon that causes bleed damage. Oh, no. I just don't know what the fourth save is supposed to be. Or if they even get a fourth save. Ugh. 12 damage on the first attack. One second. Alright. So, you're using. Which talisman? The Blood Beak one, I think. It's the Mosquito one. It's the. Yeah. I can't remember what it does. I don't have the specifics written down. Bloodseeker Beak. There we go. Uh, when you, so you just have to hit a flat-footed creature with the affixed weapon, which he's considered flat-footed. Because he's flanked? Because mm -hmm. he's flanked. Uh, if you activate the Beak, you deal an extra 1d4 damage on your roll. If you deal sneak attack damage to the creature, you also deal 1d4 persistent bleed damage. Which I do as well. Yep, and there is so, a Oh, nice. So 2d4, basically. Yes. Uh... Just make sure you designate which one's bleed damage because that rolls over to the next turn. All right. So what was your your actual damage first? So twelve damage first. Okay. And then the dark one is going to be the 
persistent. That's seven seven damage, four of which is bleed. Alright, just nice. remember the uh, bleed damage for next time. Now, is it four every time, or do I roll every time? No, it's four every time. Oh, wow. Right, well, it's, it doesn't actually say. I'm going to say it's four every time based on what it was. I will happily take it. <laughs> All right, so now I have... But that will also apply to you guys. He bleeds, so... Fair. Um, hmm. So that was one attack. Will the healer's gloves allow me to do... A, I don't have battle medicine. It, it, that is a item use. Mm. Then I will reach over and apply it to Co. All right. So you go and roll that for him. There's now two, two D six, six plus, plus seven. seven. Nice. Yeah. So thirteen. Thirteen. Hmm. Yeah. Twelve. No wait, it's six. Okay, never mind. I was mapping wrong. It is thirteen. Alright. Is that it? I will take uh is defensive a thing? Or no. I'm so glad that you, uh, you succeeded on not being, be in, like, mm. susceptible. Oh, susceptible? Oh, yeah, gosh. We were both of you guys yeah, because if I was susceptible, we all know that I would roll a natural 20 on one of you guys on with my weapon surge. We just know <laughs> that would happen. That's what he was hoping for, that he was going to get two of you, so balance out a little more. Yeah. As a standard action, let's see what this trap is here. Because I have one action left, and I'd like to basically go defensive. Can you defensive boost like your AC to 22? Mm -hmm. I'm in crane stance, yeah. Oh, that's so cool. So, it doesn't tell me if this is... One or two? Yeah. That's annoying. No, that's one. Because the attack opportunities are free. Hmm. So, yep. All right. That do you want to attack then, or are you gonna mainly because I don't want to crit fail? So crit fail doesn't do anything unless you roll one. I don't want to crit fail. <laughs> okay, Anasha. Because I have a plus zero to my third attack, so. But this is only be second attack. Fair. Oh, yeah, true. but I had still have to roll a twenty, so no, I don't want. <laughs> I don't want to. High risk. <laughs> High reward. <laughs> When it comes to stabbing myself or, or one of my teammates, <laughs> you're like, I healed you with my knife. Yeah. <laughs> oh, no. Exactly. Healer's gloves. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, I'm going to flurry of blows. Okay. And I, is it two for flanking? I forgot to add that last time. Mm -hmm. Yep. Okay. That's 10, or that's 19, but not enough. That's better. Um, doo -doo 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 -doo. 27. That will hit. And I also forgot to roll 2d6 last time on both of you guys. Oh. I don't know if you want to do anything about that. No, you gotta remember. Okay. Mm -hmm. No, that's fine. I mean, yep. it worked Wait, out 2D6? okay. 2d6? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was supposed to be 2d6 for both damage and bad damage. So. Oh. Okay. 2 plus 2 is 4, plus 4 is 8, so 8. Um, and then I'd like to attempt to disarm him and knock the knife out of his hand. It says Is thing you can Pathfinder do? 2 that it's only one action, so you have to have at least one hand free. I have two hands free, so it should be okay. <laughs> so it means you get a bonus, right? <laughs> that would be awesome. All right, so... It's, it says, like, uh, athletics against his reflex. Yep, so roll athletics. We'll see what the way I'm rolling. <laughs> that was good. What'd you get? 23. You get, say, 27. Oof. Okay. It would be good. It gives him like negatives every time he's trying to attack. If I critically succeeded, knock it straight out of his hand. 
Yeah. Try again. I know. I think I will try again. That was a really good roll. Maybe he'll roll poorly. All right. That's what you have to hope for. He rolled a very medium roll. Dang, man. I'm not going to hit him on another punch either. Yeah. And it's not like we can just run, because you'll be standing there. <laughs> well, he'll yeah. chase us. Yeah. It, That's well, true, actually. He'll, he'll send we, him after we it. We hope. Yeah. Or he could just, just keep you grab forever. him, smother him, and throw him off the cliff. Oh my gosh, we're not going to let you die tonight. Unless tonight. we die with you. <laughs> tonight. <laughs> tonight. <laughs> All right, well. Maybe another night, though. Uh, I'll try again. You okay. know, whatever. Okay, it probably won't succeed then. That was only 17. Okay, yeah, he... 17? Mm-hmm. Ooh, just barely. He got a 25, but you almost crit failed. What level is this yeah. guy? Which means you would lose your balance and become flat-footed until that the start of your next turn. not fun. Oof. Yeah. That would be unfortunate. Okay. Well, Gazmac! Alright. I'm going to... So, first action, I'd have to move. Mm -hmm. Second action, I will shield myself again. Okay. Third action, I will attempt to grapple Anasha. <laughs> I don't remember how that goes. I'm doing everything in my power to be useless. <laughs> Thank you. All right, so to grapple, you will attempt athletics check. Against their fortitude DC. Oh, so no roll, just fortitude DC. Yep. So you have to you have to roll. No, she doesn't. No, roll. it's just nine. Oh. Just so roll DC. really low, please. No, it's not. No, it's nine. not. It's not nine. nine. It, it, but it won't say. Uh, oh. I don't have it where it says that. What your I DC saw the plus, is. My bad. Oh, what your fortitude DC is. Yeah. No, I don't have that either. What is it, old mighty GM? That's a good question. <laughs> We have not grappled before. Oh, you you can't. How come? Because your target cannot be more than one size larger than you. What size Wait, are it's you? Not. Oh no, she's only more one. than one. Yeah, yeah, you're right. I was like, oh man, I'm really huge. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, oh man, I'm really huge. <laughs> by what are you by comparison, yes. <laughs> right. Does my body make my butt look big? <laughs> <laughs> I know I didn't dance with you, Gazmac. Uh, it's okay. On this, we'll I can glimpse of redemption, Gazmac, as well. Here. If it... No. How well, many times can no, you do that? I guess it, it's a fortitude saving throw. Oh, fortitude there you go. Saving. So that's the DC. So, both of you roll. I did. What'd you get? Probably. You have to roll stuff. Um, did we, Do we ever figure out what... Fortitude saving throw. So I, I do, okay, so it is a saving throw. Yeah. I understand. <laughs> You did great, didn't you? No, I did terrible, oh, I had 14. actually. 14. 9. Oh, yeah. There you go. Alright. Uh, That's uh, all of them. Yep. Nice. Go. Alright. Um, I guess I will attack my longsword. Alright. Which means I spend That's going to be a miss of a yeah. 23. Oh, good point. I can't flank right. or anything, right? Make it higher. <laughs> no, you're not flanking. Yeah. yeah, that's a good point. All right. Um, what is your health at right now? Minus 10. Oh, minus 10. So you're at 23. Mm -hmm. All right. I will cast uh, Shield. And I think <laughs> this is tough. I was gonna say this is one of the trickiest. This is really tricky because he's yeah, he's a lot harder. And he said he didn't fight. I know that's why. I'm... Oh, what do I have? All right, I will attempt to tail sweep him. Hmm. Okay. Was that? 
So, so I, if I sweep him with my tail, he will be flat footed so and fall. But I have to so um, Let me look at it real quick to double check. But I'm pretty sure I have to just roll the. So if you roll yeah. I rolled like. What would that be then? Sweep. Yeah. Basically, if you roll. Why is it makes it more attack? attack, if, attack if, if I roll plus one circumstance bonus to your attack roll if you already attempted to attack. So basically, you're going to use your. Proximity My tail. Yeah, that one. And then you. Yeah. Alright, I miss. Go. Cool. It is now his turn. No, no. By attack, or by fight, I mean actually do some damage with your spells. He knows that I'm a sorcerer? Now that he's seen you cast spells, he does. Aw, oh, darn. Fair enough. I was hoping my, we need a my silent stab spell. in the face would have would have yeah. helped prevent you. You didn't even get anywhere close to a quarter of his health on Well, so. you know, it was, it was precision <laughs> damage in the mouth. And he rolls to attack Anasha and misses and hits his ally. Who's his ally? Me! No! <laughs> oh! So, okay. That'll be 13 damage. Uh, that's only 3 damage to me because of Shattering Gem. Yep. And then, well, hold on. The target attempts a DC 11 flat check. That's a 5. So, um, that's a fail. Never mind. So it does damage directly to me. <laughs> Wait, what? Yep. What did you have to roll for? Alright, so each time a creature strikes a target, me... I attempt a DC 11 flat check. On success, the gem blocks the attack. So the attack first damage is the gem. Oh, gotcha. I rolled a 5. So, that's 13 damage to you. Yep. And a fort save. And a fort save, yeah. Fourteen. And you get four persistent bleed damage. Oof. Okay. And now he's going to attack Anasha once more. Uh, that will be a 21. It's misses because I'm in Crane's stance. Okay. Oh, yeah. Gilric. Oh, no. Cypher. <laughs> <laughs> the command. He wait. takes four damage. Yep. You said do damage by casting spells. Is that what you said? Yeah, I was going to say. Okay. Technically, the command that he gave you, you could attack Gilric. No. Because no. the all the commands, man they still... all compound? Yeah, yes. Okay. Okay. Alright, I'm a... Stay Would he be him? considered a friend? Yes. <laughs> He's an ally right now. Balls. That one misses. No, that's what I mean. Begrudgingly like, so. Yeah, that's what but I mean. He said his he command said, was attack your friends, right? He said fight them. Oh, fight them, okay. And then his command was, by fight them, I meant use your spells to yeah. damage them. I hit with my second attack. Thank goodness. Almost critically failed on my first one. Um, that's right. A little better. 16 damage. And then... Um, yeah, uh, I I don't have anything else I can really do. All right, Anasha. Um, I would like to take a smoke stick and put it or turn it off towards Gazmac, if I can. I don't. He's right beside me. He just tried to grab right me. He's right beside you. So wouldn't that conceal all the rest of us? From him, he could still attack the square that you were. He saw you in last. And he can also so, just move. Yeah, he can. All of his spells. out of this, out of the spell, or out of. You the, don't think it's gonna change his do damage to friends? I figured he couldn't see them. No. Maybe he could stay in it. Okay. Well, I'll do what I always do and try to punch people. Okay. <laughs> I wonder. I'm just trying to think outside the box. Okay, are uh, we still flanking or no? I can't remember. Yes. Yes. Okay. Um, are you dealing lethal or non-lethal damage? Oh, non-lethal. On yeah. You are. I was gonna hold it, try to knock him oh, out. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um. 
Okay, sorry. So 11 plus 2, 13 plus 9. It's getting close enough to Oh, we had to ask. Need to know that <laughs> yeah. Um, Specifically for her. If you I guys have... are still using your weapons, then you're... Oh, no. We're definitely still using her weapons. Ah, yikes. Okay. Neither of them hit. I had an idea. By how me. much? Uh, One was 21 and one was 20. Okay. So. Color spray. He said damage. He said, oh. specifically said, said damage. damage. Yeah, and that one doesn't damage, does it? No. Oh, bummer. I was yeah. gonna say because it would be it would be convenient to get him caught in a crossfire. I've, I've considered that because but... he didn't say that you couldn't damage him, right? Um... You could attack. You could attack me with magic missile because with my shield up. It says it blocks. He says you can use this spell's reaction against magic missile spell. Uh, so, he would we would know that. I have but my. You have a wand, but that's not casting. That's not casting. That's oh, right. he oh. It's not. It's not considered casting. It's a. That's using a magic device. device. Yeah. Because so like I could use a magic missile device or no. You can use a wand as long as you have arcane. Okay. Arcana. Um. I'll try to trip Gazmac. That's okay. Awesome. I wouldn't be able to hit Gilric no matter what I did. So it's um, an athletics check against your reflex DC. So, reflex saving throw. 18? 19. Dang that. <laughs> <laughs> that's so sad. Okay, that's just. I was going to say, yeah, you're, you're pretty reflexy, so. Seven. I mean, Gazmac. Okay. Yeah. All right. All right. I'm gonna cast Dragon Claws. That doesn't cause damage. It allows me to. Nope. Ah. All right. Fine. I'm trying to find the spell that does the least amount of damage. If you have anything that's a cone of effect, you could damage him in it. That's true. But doesn't that do the most da most damage? I'd think? have to. I guess the option there is burning hands, especially if he That'll hit him and the two of you. You'll definitely want to hit if you're attacking one person. Anasha has the highest. AC. Yeah, I mean I'm fine. I haven't got it's a it's a DC. Yet, but yeah. oh, that one. Do you have any that's against AC? No, no. Spells are usually DCs. Mm -hmm. Like I said, if you can get a cone, if he's getting low enough to where it's a problem, I would risk it. But. That's tough. Is he? I know you're enjoying that. I haven't damaged any of my party. <laughs> no, he, he doesn't. Yeah, thanks he to you, he hit, Nasha. he hit a Nasha in the Did back. Did he? Yeah. I mean, in, in the past, in the past, in the past, in the past. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah. One time. Crispy spiders. Yes. In my hair. <laughs> um. How many hit points do you have? I'm at thirty. You're at twenty. Three. Twenty-three. So. As long as there's a reflex save, I have a decent me. chance of making it. Burning hands can do a max of 25. Oof. So, well, I hope you don't kill me. <laughs> All right. <laughs> You're doing it? I mean, it's at my suggestion. I'm not, I'm not really hands. salty about Burning it. Burning hands it is. <laughs> All right, what is the yeah, what's 19 the... reflex? All right. He makes it. I get hit. I do too. Roll damage. Oh my gosh. <laughs> doesn't he take. Tap, I was going to say, doesn't he take partial damage? Actually, right. it depends on what he beat it by. Mm. At least it wasn't a critical failure on my part. I'm 15. I'm not high enough to do. To have evasion. <laughs> Why can't I have evasion, Brent? 15 damage. 15 damage. Uh, have is going to be. Eight. Single round damage spells, do. Yeah. Uh. Mm. I don't believe you do. Dragon claws. 
wood. Otherwise, how's your health now? No, I mean not great. Oh, did you add uh, your burn it to that as well? I did. Okay. All right, I can try to do battle medicine. Keep you echo up a little bit. I would not turn it down. All right. Um. That is provided you don't. <laughs> <Crook and fail. laughs> like the time you're trying to heal yourself? Is that what it was with the foot? Well, I could use lay on hands as well. That would. Is that a burst though, or is that just? No, it's lay on hands. It's just one person. Yeah. It... I was. I, I. I keep thinking of the. What's my call? The clerics. The clerics. Uh, Channel positive. Yeah, that one. Okay. So with lay on hands, there's no risk, but you only get twelve hit points. Uh, with. I'll, I think I'll do that though. It would more than double what I currently have. Yeah. So my first action, I'll do lay on hands on Cypher, so you'll gain uh, is it just, just a, 12 straight. Is, oh, it's just yeah. flat 12? Just well, flat 12. Nice. I will take it. And then I will drink. Okay, so what are you at now? You're at, I'm at 20. 20. Right, we're both at 20. Uh, okay. Yeah, I have a potion have a of lesser say, healing. You take it. Right. I'll drink a potion of lesser healing. Because I still have one somewhere. Okay. Can you remind me what that roll is? 1d8 plus 2? Plus 1? Maybe maybe 2d8 plus 2. I can't remember. Uh, lesser is 2d8 plus 5. Oh, that was close. So that's 16. And then I'll attack. And as usual, I get 23. And that will miss. Yep. If only you were playing me. If only I would have hit him twice already. <laughs> All right. But now she's got more attacks. It made more sense. Yeah. Sorry. Whose turn is it? It's Gilrex. It's yours. I'm so glad we're calling him that and not Alo Brian. <laughs> <laughs> Blumpy Brian. Stop. I, I I give up. I I give up. Please please don't kill me. Let's knock the knife out of his hand. Yeah? No, he's already dropped it. Oh, he dropped it. Okay. Yeah. Well, All right. I'm going pick to pick that thing up okay. then. Okay. <laughs> I stop and I just stand still. And bleed. And? Yes. I have I have been bleeding. I have been taking that oh. into account. He dies. Wait, he dies. right there? No. Wait. What? Yeah. No, he doesn't what take happened? blood. He doesn't take it until it's my turn. Yes. And but, oh, he's stopping initiative. Yes. So he just takes bleed damage. Yes, and he dies. <laughs> he, he doesn't just, like, fall unconscious, he just nope. dies? I play monster rules. At zero, they're dead. There's nothing we could do to... Wait, well, can I you... Just, we can I, bring I, him, I, I can, shrug my shoulders and part. start going no, through his I pockets. So, I, I, I shrug my shoulders and start going through his pockets. Okay. Cypher! We are going to be in huge trouble. There is no evidence that this was... An actual... Then we should get what we can while we can, and then get out of here. Are there any servants in the room? <laughs> Not in the room, okay. but they're all around. Oh my... If you have any healing potions... Gosh. No, talk to Ko. He'll heal you up. Yeah. Hi, Ko. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna roll for a battle medicine. Or just a medicine check. Medicine check? Yeah. Do I, what do I find in... And what kind of knife are we talking about here? I'm gonna fail. Uh, the knife has bleeding on it. But is it? It's just like a dagger with. It'd be a plus. On. It'd be the plus one with the bleeding effect on. It. All right, cool. But is you're gonna want to turn that. Down well, yeah, that that's that's. that's yeah. I mean, well, that's yeah. that, the other part of it is is it is there like a Gilcrest family seal on the knife or anything no, that is just no. readily apparent that it's. I mean, nope. can we? I don't know if they do DNA samples here, but it'd be nice. We to have can it, totally our blood on testify it. that he killed us or he tried to kill us. We can. We have the samples of the drinks and the food that he had them 
poisoned. Oh, you have. Food. When someone yeah, from the, I kind of want to tell Gazmag that when someone from the, he drank all of it. Out. Oh, yeah, 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 I didn't know he drank. But you just took a bite, right? Of your yeah, I just took a bite. Yeah, but he that. passed his will save, so yeah. he did. But he still has food left over his hand. Yeah, he, right. he doesn't know that it's drugged though either. Oh. Well, I know based on what he. Drank, yeah, but it was. That's true. Yeah, you could guess. Yeah. But regardless, I will keep it. I'm continuing to talk. To go. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, Mac, you can... I, he told you to stop. How do you take that? Stop attacking. Your heart stops. <laughs> <laughs> uh, just as in, like, standing still. Like, boom, just like, stand still, no moving forward kind of thing. You were there for the next seven hours and 59 minutes. We can carry him. You'll have to. Yeah. I'm mean, fine. I'm heavier than I look. <laughs> <laughs> but I am but I am still right. continuing to talk. Well hmm. Could but, someone else give him suggestions now that the guy nope. who gave uh, him suggestions is dead? Nope. So you couldn't add suggestions mm. on that would not so you couldn't say like, hey, message you can't this person. The ones that already done unless what if that it doesn't contradict? Does it? What if it just adds to What's your suggestion? I was just saying, like if we were like, hey, Message this person this, but he can he do can't it. Can't listen to you. Man, it's so ruthless. All right, well, let's call I for mean, the watch. I mean, we have enough to testify. Not only you guys that, but heal me. Yeah, I failed my. Uh, oh, can you heal? Right. I, think I can try too. I'm trained. It's just normal anything. medicine, but yeah. or normal medicine. And it What's, gives you. It gives the gloves. Um, give me a plus, don't on. they? Because I'm at nine hit points. <laughs> yeah. So bad, I don't even have a scratch. All right, what was your medicine the only one who check? Yeah. What was your medicine check? Mine. Yes. Oh, mine was a thirteen. Thirteen. Don't crit It shouldn't be. Wait a minute. I thought you could. T- I thought you automatically got a twenty as long as you didn't roll a one. Twenty. I have plus ten in medicine. But I rolled a three. Um. No, that was a that was the the uh, crap perk or trait or feat. That's the word I'm looking for. The feat we were trying to get you, or we were talking about looking at, or we were looking at for you to get next time we level up. It basically allows you to take twenty right. on a on a check or on a medicine check. Oh, I can't um, remember what that was called then. So you can only treat a person's injuries once every 10 minutes. Mm-hmm. So a fail check is attempting to treat those injuries, so... I will try. Pass out. 10 minutes from a while. No, no, no. no I like, haven't no. treated him. He's been tr- attempted to be treated, though. I thought it was just the same person can't do it. You can use... To perform examinations. You can patch up wounds and help people recover from diseases and poisons, even if you're untrained. Yeah, I thought it was as long as it was a different person doing, making the check. Oh, I'll, no. It, it takes 10 minutes to do it. Oh. So, you use battle medicine, which is instant. You're able to do that. Mm-hmm. You would take 10 minutes to do it. Oh, to do you. any, even with the gloves. You already used the gloves. Well, right? I used the I used the the heal part of part of them, but I thought they gave me a bonus. But I guess that's just a bonus. It's, but All it right. takes ten minutes to treat him. Fine, so. then I will give him my lesser po- potion of uh, my lesser healing potion. Okay. So that's two D plus five, I think. Right. Yep. Do you want, he rolls or I roll? He's rolling. Because he's a, no, you're applying it to me, so it seems like it'd be. Deep. Mm-hmm. All right, that's not terrible. Uh, Eighteen. Eighteen. Okay, mm-hmm. I'm back up to full health. Oh. Okay. You take four day. I don't give him a potion. Let him go unconscious. Okay. Because he's gonna take bleed damage until he can make another roll for it when you apply battle or medicine. Oh. Um, so. But he keeps bleeding if he's unconscious, mm-hmm. right? That takes him to the dying. Oh, oh god! But if he's bleeding, doesn't that give him so, a negative to his so dying rolls? You will have the hit points that he just gave you because he used the potion after you went unconscious. 
which stabilizes you and brings you back up to just those hit points. Okay. Fair enough. Okay. <laughs> so, potion is gone. Okay. Because he bled out while you were attempting to <laughs> save him. Uh, then, because he went unconscious, he stops bleeding because he's not bleeding anymore. He's in the dying position. Okay. Dying with a potion stabilizes and gives you those points back. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Fair enough. I won't. I won't argue. Good. <laughs> All right. I so, can't argue. No. <laughs> wow. All right. Um, so I guess we should call for the watch. If I die, if I go unconscious and come back, are the effects still there? I'm gonna say no. Especially since I was bleeding out. Yep. I'm gonna say no. Or maybe greatly reduced. So yeah, you you are free from the effects as well. So you yell for the guards. I mean, do we trust the guards in the Gilbert estate, or do you think that they're also in this whole thing? Either we run away and look super guilty, or we go by it by the book. Either way, we I'm gotta make a decision. I'm just wondering if maybe we could, like, I could go run out and ask for help in the street, like, and leave outside. the goblin, the halfling, rogue, no, and true. the lizard folk <laughs> in the back here. <laughs> <laughs> I was just we suggesting that because I was the fastest. <laughs> that's, but... that's, the, that's the great... <sighs> we need to get right. Odella. She's yeah, on our I side. Mean, yeah. That is stopped. one thing we can specifically request. Look, get her. Mm-hmm. She'll right, believe us. Yeah. Oh, no she else. found 30 gold. Oh, I'll take it. And you have the knife? I do. All right. Because we can use that as the evidence for... If it matches a wound identification yeah. for Anna... We have, I mean, granted, monkey guy, won't put these people don't seem terribly, terribly, terribly against those people. Um, what do you mean by those people? By goblins. <laughs> goblins is what I mean. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> what level was Gilric? Uh, he was creature level six. Shoo. Gosh. He had 90 hit points. Um, wow, you did a lot of damage, you yeah, guys. <laughs> but Cypher so, mostly, yeah, right? Yeah, Cypher did all this the damage. This is considered a boss battle. For you guys, because it's three levels higher than what you I guys are. I was gonna are. say, I was like, yeah. Yeah. but it's, yeah. it was meant to be. You, you're supposed to fight him basically in single combat. It would right. be very difficult for four of you, and it just <laughs> so happened that you had one person not able to help you. So that was mm-hmm. actually, you guys did very well because yeah. he well done, was a yeah. He would have wiped the boss. floor with it yeah. if we, if we like final boss going. kind of level. Almost. Yeah. Uh, what was I gonna say? Sorry, there were he worse. died. But he needed a spanking, not death, but something. <laughs> I'm kidding. Are we? Are we going? Are we? No, stopping? I was gonna say. Well, I, I was. Good, well, thought process was before. Gazmat can attest to uh, what he did, and I. I mean, we know. We know. We, he tried. He drugged us. So. I and agree. we got a knife and so on and so forth. So let's call for. It just looks bad to kill someone inside their own house. Probably just the first part. To kill yeah. yeah. <laughs> True. Lawful neutral, you say. <laughs> Follows her own code. That's right. It's a pirate's life for me. <laughs> I can't believe we killed them in their own house. <laughs> the worst of us. They live here. Man, Not we should, anymore. We, we should. Oh we should have dragged him outside the gates and then stumped him. <laughs> the photos on the wall are just judging me. <laughs> It's a very beautiful scene. Otherwise, you're still overlooking the no, no, <laughs> the no, water. No, There's no, a cliff there. No. A pool of blood. No. <laughs> you can a see lot ripple of blood. on the tile floor. There you go. Ripples from the sea breeze. Oh, oh, oh. It's, 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 the smell of the salt, along with the smell of the, the blood. The copper. It's, it's you know, mm, just warms a so, rogue's heart. Yes, that yeah. heat. Oh, you you summon the guards. Specifically yes. Odella, yes. And, yes. and request Odella that you have found the murder. Show him the writ. Uh, yeah. Yes, you show the writ. Uh, Odella, it takes a bit, but she gets there. Other guards have come. They ask for your weapons. <laughs> Do you? I don't want to. Yeah, he has, a, he has a bow and arrows. <laughs> yeah. <sighs> Fine. Okay. You can try a theory check to no. hold on to one. I, I know <laughs> when I'm... When discretion is the better part of valor. That's good. Okay, I I let him take him. Cool. Uh, so Adela comes. Uh, so so what happened here? 
Poor boy. Where do we even start? He drugged him, and then yeah. he died. It's... I think we're going to start by giving her the evidence, so we're going to give her, make sure she knows that this was the dagger that he used. Here's, I'm going to give her the food skewer, say that we think it's drugged, even though I didn't, I didn't have an effect, but, and then, like, just, yeah. I was saying it might be worth questioning the staff to see if they know anything about that, but it was on invitation to go to his house, and this all went down. So. We're also, we're, like, explaining that we're known visitors here to the staff as well. It's not, we didn't sneak in. We mm -hmm. were in almost... We were definitely in. invited. We were invited in. Multiple get multiple like people knew about house, it. So it's the not words like he used in. were, you know too much, I believe. Yeah. And he just We've been meddling set Gazmac on us. And... Alright. Uh, roll a perception roll for, we'll say, the guards, all of them. 22. 26. 16. 10. Okay. So one of the guards comes up a few minutes later. I, these don't seem to belong to him. And uh, there are parts of a garment. Each person that he has killed, he ha he's got. Oh, he was going legit garment. serial killer, not so, just. It was yeah. He, so he was a little of both. <laughs> I, yeah. He was making, he was mixing business and pleasure. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I'm really glad you didn't drink that wine. Well, nope. Yeah, well, I don't think that one. That one wasn't poisoned. No, it was. Oh, it was. Wait, this the door yeah. one? Yeah. But you said it wasn't when we asked. I thought. <laughs> you, you, He's the G. You dumped it over the floor. <laughs> you had no way of I knowing mean, whether it was or not. Yeah. But yeah, he 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 intended to yeah. take you mm -hmm. that night. Oh well, that's good that that, yeah. that, that doesn't go. <laughs> <laughs> um. Yeah, where were we? <laughs> <laughs> She's like, now that I could have died, it's, I was there all alone because none of my friends knew I was there. Learning That's lessons right. about sneaking alone, I guess. That's right, leave the sneaking to the professional. Uh, Use the I'm buddy system. Because yeah. <laughs> it works so much better. <laughs> you get well, turned invisible. <laughs> yeah. Return their weapons. Thank you. Miss Nasha? Yeah, you're welcome. And party? Company? We helped. <laughs> uh, it was all of them. I'm sorry this had to happen this way. But... Please, and she writes out a, another writ for you. Please stop by the treasury and uh, collect your reward. Oh, I forgot there was a reward. I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> That'll be 500 gold. Nice! Sweet. It's cool. Still feels. You guys want to buy a brewery? <laughs> Ooh! <laughs> No, but <laughs> we could. See, there Maybe. you go. He should have faked his own death. Bought he, the with okay, the I have to here. say, Gilrick has to be pretty, like, bold to attack four people in his own home. Like, that was, was way was... better. Andy had an ally. Yeah, but... Or potentially yeah, but he, three. He had also... So, what you guys don't know is that he rolled really well. He found out that uh, you've been snooping around some different yeah. places. Mm -hmm. uh, that you had... Talk to his the driver of the. I mean, yeah, he probably has spies and stuff, mm -hmm. and stuff like that. So he was p putting together that you guys were pretty close to get being on to him. Yeah. And he figured in his own mansion would be the best place to try to. That's true. That's that's yeah. the, I mean, he had, over the cliff. Best over the place cliff. To exactly. That was his spies. <laughs> Kill him and dump him. <laughs> and they washed yep. up by the sea. So. Not a bad Congratulations! Point. You did not die. <laughs> Yay! For not dying. Thanks, Gazmac. That was awesome. What do you mean, thanks to me? You pulled two punches before he made you actually. Uh, That's fair. Start. Time. You didn't kill me. I appreciate it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I tried. <laughs> um, she also. Well, um, if you don't mind, you don't have to worry about uh, the uh, thieves. They have been caught. Um, oh. That's good to, to hear. Them. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> uh, Reginald was reassigned to that case. Oh, he did some excellent uh, footwork. Way to go, to Reggie! Hey, well, give him all congratulations. Well, anyone wants to catch him, would be Reginald. Yeah, I, I was giving the option of either quest to oh, go, for and then he was going to go for the other. Yeah. Man, what if we didn't go for this one? Would we? Have not... Reginald would have ended up catching the killer, hopefully. Or yeah. maybe we. <laughs> maybe he disappears. Yep. Oh, yeah. So it's still yes, large. Reginald <laughs> caught the thieves. Yay, Reginald! So. <laughs> Um, we are going to stop there. Uh, we are going to be back for just a second. Uh, for next time, 
Uh, our after action will be a recap, not this time around, because I forgot to tell some of you. <laughs> so, yeah, next time we'll do a recap of where we are and all of that jazz. Um, I figure out, figure we'll almost be done with Pike's Point, but mm -hmm. I'm going to stop recording here and start in just a second. Uh, give us just a few moments and we'll be back for our after action. Sure, so we have things to discuss. Ooh.